Hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully I'm streaming. Here it goes. All right. Hello, guys. Woo, I barely made it. I barely made it. I just was on the phone with my dentist and because they called like 10 minutes ago and they were like, can you, I had to ask a question and then they're like, can you hold on? And I'm like, I guess, hurry. <laughs> so I barely made it. I know I made it. I made it. All right. <laughs> so they had my, they had some other Cindy in my appointment slot. Like when I called the lady accidentally put the wrong Cindy into the appointment and they didn't have my appointment scheduled. It was a whole big old mess. Anyway, we got it straightened out right in the nick of time. <laughs> hey, everybody. So I hope you guys, I am so excited. I hope you guys are ready because we're going to go play The Sims 3 Pleasant View and it's time for Lilith Pleasant to have a baby. Now, what baby did we just have? Did we just have a bird baby? Holy crap, we just had Falcon Burb. I forgot about Falcon. Thank you so much for the three months, Nightcrawlers. <laughs> that reminds me of um, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Hilarious show. Want to play Nightcrawlers? <laughs> hello, hello, Mr. Classic. Okay, so uh, I got the game pulled up here. I forgot all about Little Falcon. I was trying to figure out what letter we're on for names. And we're actually on... Does that mean we're on G? Who had an E, baby? Oh my god, I don't know what's happening. I think we're on G. <laughs> what was the other baby? What was Lilith's baby's name? Oh my god, I don't remember. <laughs> we're on G. We're on G. Eric. Thank you. Thank you. I need to make a spreadsheet for this neighborhood, y'all. I need to make a spreadsheet. It's just I'm not very motivated to do it, but I need to do it. Oh, thank you so much for five months, Olya. Thank you very much. <laughs> and thank you for the one month the sub, Luke James. Thank you very much. So yeah, I'm just trying to keep up with everything in my head and that's not gonna work for very much longer. I'm gonna have to get a spreadsheet going before our next stream. <laughs> Greg <-nit. laughs> Oh yes, thank you, thank you. Let me ping the Discord. Whew. I hate it whenever I don't have time, like I'm just doing something up to the very last minute. So let me go in and do that. Um, at notifications, going live on Twitch right now. Now, if you were here for a Monday stream, boy, were you in for a surprise. <laughs> I do love spreadsheets. It's just I don't love making another Pleasant View spreadsheet again. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so if you're waiting on the playback for that on YouTube, I'm sorry it's taken so long. I had to blur some things out. I had to blur out some things. <laughs> some really some things that would not be suitable for YouTube. So I had to blur those out. So I'm waiting on YouTube to process that, which they've been doing for over 24 hours now. So I don't know. I'm trying to get it up as soon as possible. <laughs> Some big overgrown monster that's always <laughs> thinking about food. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> and thank you for the four months, uh, Metaphysica. Thank you very much. I never know if I'm saying that right. Well, if you haven't watched it yet, you're in for a surprise. Because we all, we all got surprised. <laughs> yes, it was quite funny. It, it, I decided just to keep it up. I was like, whatever. <laughs> okay, so let me, let's go ahead and get into the game. I'm actually here on the Bird family right now. Um, we got little Baby Falcon. I love that name so much. Thank you for whoever submitted Baby Falcon. We are currently on the letter G. G as in Gregnant. <laughs> so submit your names for the letter G, guys. Hopefully we don't have any issues with the name generator today. But go ahead and click on that link I just put in the, tw in the chat and submit your G names, boy and girl, okay? And thank you for the cheer, Plumbobs in Space. Thank you very much. Get me up to level three hype train, all right? <laughs> Monday streams was one of your favorite streams. Yes, Greg. Somebody better submit Greg. <laughs> but not Gelba, okay? Thank you for the follow, Luke Sims. Okay, so here's little baby Falcon just one more time. You can just look at his cute little self. So he's going to be light. He's going to have the light skin of his daddy, John. And the brown hair. He's going to look like John. So does Lucy, too. We need a baby that looks like Jennifer. But I'm sure they'll have more babies. I'm sure that <laughs> Steb, Ginger, 
<laughs> Ginger with a J. I gotta, I gotta get that in my game somewhere. We gotta name one of Lucy's kid, one of Lucy's kids, Ginger, <laughs> in uh, the other Pleasant View. Okay. Oh, you can't see the game. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, guys. I was showing you the baby. You could, all you could see was me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go back. Hold on. I'll show you the baby again. I'm so sorry. You guys are just looking at my face. <laughs> So here's the baby. I'm sorry. He looks like his daddy. He's so cute. I don't know what color eyes he has. I can't tell what color the baby's eyes are. And I don't know if like they all have the same color eyes or what. I don't know. I don't know. No, Lilith already had her baby. Now it's Angela's turn. Angela and Lilith both decided to get pregnant. Well, actually, Lilith got pregnant and then Angela tried to one-up her by getting pregnant as well. She was jealous of the attention that Lilith was getting, so she decided to get knocked up by her boyfriend, Dustin Broke. So, okay, um, I'm go we're gonna go out, we're gonna go load the Pleasant family. Where are you, Pleasants? Here you are. Woo, my game is a lagging. <laughs> Give it a second to load everything, y'all. <laughs> I I thought that the baby had brown eyes, but I'm, I'm still not sure if all the babies have the same color eyes. Or if you can actually see the difference. I don't know. I got two hydrates and thank you for the follow Insomniac. Zach, let me do my hydrates here. One. And two. Nightcrawler, I have um, I have a baby skin and baby hair. Yeah, that's not how a normal Sims 3 baby looks. Thank you for the follow, Turtle Tree. And thank you for the Prime Sub, Turtle Tree. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so let's see here. Oh yeah, and I have baby clothes too. I'm sorry, I have baby clothes too. I have a whole bunch of baby stuff. So let's uh, go ahead and switch over here to make active to the Pleasants. Thank you for the cheer, Plum Bobs. You're keeping that hype train alive. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so Daniel is over here at work. Daniel works at the uh, athletic. I don't know what the heck do you call this place? Stadium. Stadium. That's it. He works at the stadium. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, is somebody having an issue with uh, the sound? Should be the same. All my settings are the same. I had some technical difficulties today with my freaking webcam, though. Oh, my God. I barely got my uh, video made. You link the baby skin and clothes in Discord? Oh, awesome. Um, I have the wispy hair. I have the baby wisps. Wisps. That's a fun word to say. Okay, so Daniel's over here. We have not played the Pleasant Family yet in Pleasant View, so this is going to be exciting. I'm kind of hoping for a Mary Sue and Daniel baby like I always am. Oh my god, that reminds me. I got to change their ages, y'all, because I have super long ages on right now because I was playing my, my Sims 3 game. See, I have ages, 728 days. We don't want to play that long in the stream, do we? No, we don't. No, we don't. We want to just play a long lifespan. There we go. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the follow, Dream Dink. Thank you. Long, long age. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, Hype Train. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, so um, you haven't missed anything, Adam, yet. We haven't done anything yet. We have just switched over. <laughs> Oh, Steb, you're so funny. Um, so he wants to get pumped, invite a sim over, and train someone. Okay, that's fine. Let's check on Mary Sue. Um, it appears she is... What are you doing, Mary Sue? She's standing outside of City Hall. So I don't know if she went to work or what. What are your working hours? Um, nine to four? So she should be at work right now. Mary Sue, what are you doing? Go to work. What's wrong? Oh, it's not your work hours? What? Okay, that's weird. So for some reason, it's not her work hours. All right, well, whatever. Um, You are not joining the business career, Mary Sue, and you are not buying a chemistry table. What the heck is wrong with you? All right, so let's check on Angela, our pregnant Sam, who's going to be a teen mom soon. She's actually at school right now. Oh, she's at drama club. She's in drama club. Of course she is. She wants to get a part-time job. 
Um, golden tongue, golden fingers. No, we are not going to give Angela a golden tongue, golden fingers. Thank you so much for the four month prime sub, Justin. Thank you very much. Hydrate for Ivy. Yeah, Drama Club is very fitting for her. I agree with that. Oh, look, there's Lucy. Hey, Lucy. Okay, so I'm not giving her Golden Tongue, Golden Fingers. That's actually what we gave to Lilith. Um, does she look like there's something weird on her eyes? Oh, my God. We're going to have to check her out. And she wants to learn a new recipe. Now, going into culinary would be something that I feel like would be good for Angela. So we'll, ch we'll wait until she gets home from school. In the meantime, let's head back to the house. I think Lilith was in Drama Club. I think so. All right, so Mary Sue's here. Mary Sue has no wants. Want something, Mary Sue. Want something. You're just like a robot, just sitting there with no hopes and dreams. <laughs> yeah, it does. It fits her personality. They, it's true. They are twins, although their personalities are quite different. Um, but they both do love the drama, though. <laughs> It does look just like their house from The Sims 2, yes. The, um, Caleb built this house, and he did an excellent job. That's just the classic smoky eye from J-Rod. <laughs> With that bright green eyeliner. Okay, so I'm just going to fast forward because there's nothing going on here. There's nothing going on with Mary Sue. She's just completely empty. Oh, now she wants to go to university? I think not. I think you're I think those days are past, Mary Sue. Um, but learn cooking skill. Oh crap, they have no food. Okay. We gotta send Mary Sue to the grocery store. Um, you are not taking a class. We're gonna send Mary Sue to the grocery store so she can get some food for the family. So let's go shop for groceries. I do eventually want to get a an actual um usable grocery store not like a rabbit hole in Ple in pleasant view i started to say pleasant sims in pleasant view but um i just haven't done it yet uh will daniel and mary sue have another baby i hope so i hope so but it's up to them it's up to them i let my sims do what they want they do what they want um no you're not joining political career are you insane you're, you're already in a high-level athletic position, Daniel. And here is Angela home. Now, I wanted to look at Angela's face because I feel like she had something go. What in the hell happened to her face? What did it... What did the dresser do to you, Angela? <laughs> I knew I saw something on... Oh, my God. I knew I saw something on her, y'all. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to change this. No, not store. Dang it. I hate it when I click on the wrong thing. Master controller. We're going to edit her and create a sim. We're going to get rid of that. So I have the dresser mod, the NRAAS dresser mod, and it will put makeup on sims if they don't have any. So, so. But what it did to Angela is just ridiculous. Okay, she should that. Look at that. That is just why why would anybody have that on their face me that's me when i try to do eyeliner 2k that's me i look like a freaking clown <laughs> that's what your makeup look like in middle school <laughs> she is experimenting but you know what too bad <laughs> i hate it i hate it so we're getting rid of it um let's see here this you don't need any oh my god why is she that what <laughs> Why does she have purple eyeshadow on, y'all? I don't. I did not put this on her, I swear. Okay. No. No, honey. No, honey, no. We'll let you have a little bit of eyeshadow, but that's that was too much for you. There we go. Let's give you some lip gloss, too. You want some lip gloss? Maybe the game will stop putting makeup on you if we give you some ourselves. <laughs> purple is life. Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. All right. That was just... <laughs> that was just really something. <laughs> I know, we were just kidding. <laughs> we were just kidding about getting those tips from J-Rod. <laughs> okay, so now she looks like a normal teenager again. And not like she's trying to be Cleopatra. 
And so let's check out. I don't know how far along she is in her pregnancy. I think she actually just got pregnant because I don't even see any baby bumps or anything. She hasn't changed into our baby bumps. I always say baby bump in The Sims 3, but she hasn't changed into her maternity clothes yet. Yes, I would like to buy one marshmallow, please. Thank you. <laughs> that, just, that just cracks me up. <laughs> oh, Twitch notified you just now. Okay, so we're going to shop by recipe, and we're going to get stuff for PB&J, grilled cheese, some hot dogs. Let's have some Greek salad, some waffles, tacos, pancakes. I don't know. We're just going to get some stuff. Uh, tofu dogs. Let's have some cheese potato fingers. Goopy carbonara. Some mac and cheese. I'm, not, I'm trying not to spend more than $96. Let's see. Um, autumn salad. I spent $97. Oh, well, that's all right. Wait, I guess I can get rid of the marshmallow. <laughs> I can get rid of the marshmallow. Okay, 96. Yes, we hit our target. Okay. <laughs> so then she's going to come. We're going to, she's going to head home. She wants to grow lettuce now and learn gardening skill. Mary Sue, you don't have time for that. You don't, ain't nobody got time for that. Get yourself home. And so basically we're just going to keep an eye on Angela Send a text to Clint Watson. Who the heck is that? Who the heck is Clint Watson? Thank you for the follow, awkwardly Tiff. Clint Watson. That's some weirdo townie that we need to annihilate. <laughs> $1 for a marshmallow is very expensive. I'm telling you, you can buy like a whole bag for 99 cents. We can't buy the marshmallow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to, I had to stay on budget. <laughs> okay when Mary Sue gets home we're gonna stock the fridge and I'm gonna have her go ahead and cook dinner um let's see make some dinner for your family so let's serve some cheese and potato fingers because I haven't ever made that before oh he's gonna get annihilated he's gonna get annihilated 10 tacos please <laughs> he's definitely gonna get annihilated I I'm not going to Mary Sue you are not going to um do gardening you do not have time for that okay wait what did you just do oh oh cheese potato fingers are just already made <laughs> they're just already cooked um or did I do have dinner I don't know what I just did but she's gonna have to go cook again go make some mac and cheese I might have done have dinner Cheese potato finger sounds weird. I think it sounds delicious. Give me some, I'll eat some cheese potato finger. <laughs> I love cheese and I love potatoes. I'll take them both. I feel like I, I look like really, I, I don't feel like my camera, my lighting is right. I had some issues with my camera earlier. I don't know. I don't know what it's doing. I'm sorry if I look weird. Do I know any can big to Sims not getting to know all the other kids at school oh um no <laughs> my sims usually get to know everybody that they go to school with i like yeah adding fingers into it is a little bit weird like lady fingers lady fingers are really good here we go we're going on food again y'all we get on food every time i swear <laughs> Fries or chips, yeah. John just improved his handy skills to level one. Good for you, John. Good for you. Visit the graveyard during a full moon. Ugh, I hate that want. Nobody ever does that. Throw a party. Uh, get Become more muscular. We can work with that. We can work with that, Daniel. Why does he want to read a charisma book? He doesn't need charisma. You know what? He needs to get to know his teammates. Um, he has a really low, he has a frowny face on teammates, so we need to get to know his teammates better. You just brush your teeth for the night? <laughs> it might be a double brush night. That's what I say to myself sometimes. <laughs> I just ate, so I'm good. I just ate before the stream. I was like, I'm, I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat a lot. I had a piece of pizza. And a, yo a cup of blueberry yogurt and an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> that was my dinner. I eat like I'm five years old. 
This was a bad night, okay? Usually I have more vegetables. <laughs> His coworkers are mad at him, probably. Okay, um, wait, 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 wait. Put these away. Put away leftovers. And let's check on Angela again. She needs to come, actually, she needs to come down and eat. You're not learning street art. You already have an, an after school activity and you're not texting Clint. <laughs> You're not, but we can look for you a part-time job, though. Um, let's have her go eat. I guess I shouldn't have put the leftovers away. Now you get cold mac and cheese. Clint's the new Melba. I have so many Melbas in The Sims 3. I just annihilate them on the spot if I don't like them. I love that about The Sims 3. I'm just like, get out of my world. You no longer exist to me. <laughs> Ooh, pork chops and mashed potatoes. No, she doesn't have a pregnancy moodlet because she hasn't found out that she's pregnant yet. Like, the only reason we know is from story progression. But she hasn't gotten that first, that first, uh, I don't know, where they find out that they're pregnant. I keep wanting to say baby bump, but that's not really what it is. Thank you for the follow, London Elizabeth. So, yeah, we can double check, but she is she's pregnant yeah see i can i have the option to end pregnancy which i will not do oh my god remember the time i accidentally did that um but yeah and she can give birth now no thank you um so daniel's coming home he's earning the big money 961 simoleons all right get yourself home mary sue made dinner for you mary sue still has no idea that daniel is cheating on her with the maid kaylin and so the maid is actually supposed to have shown up on this household, at this household, but she didn't come today. Okay, that's odd. That's odd. We gotta make sure she comes. Thank you so much for the prime sub, Lashing Elf. Thank you very much. I love doing it in The Sims 4 too. I just go manage household and I'm like, you're out, you're out, you're out, you're out, and you're out. Get out. <laughs> you're gone. <laughs> okay so let me see what is daniel he's not even home yet daniel has so many wants daniel you have too many wants and i don't know what to do does he have a car he has a freaking really expensive car oh i gotta put them into my rotation cast hold on everybody's gonna have a car because i haven't put them in the rotation cast yet Okay, so we're going to put them household options. We're going to do a manual cast. And I'm going to put them in my rotations cast. Um, because I was just couldn't be bothered. I couldn't be bothered to do it before. And I'm going to save. I'm going to save. I have auto save, like an auto save mod. So it pops up and prompts me to save every so often. I think 30 minutes. Oh, thanks, Alex, and thank you for everybody helping me to reach my daily sub goal. Thank you very much to all my old and new subscribers. <laughs> yeah, in a casting show, I'm judging everybody. All right, so let's see. What are we going to do here? What are you guys going to do? Do something interesting. <gasps> accused of cheating! Oh, my God, she's accusing him of cheating. <gasps> oh, no! Daniel has cheater reputation. How did she find out? Oh my god, how did she find out, y'all? I don't know how she found out. She is betrayed. Oh god. Thank you for the follow, London Clicks. Oh no. So let's see. Let's see what happened to their relationship. I don't know how she found out. I know it's my jealous my jealousy videos. It just actually happened in the game. Um, where's their freaking relationship? Oh, it's there's a little bit of green. There is just a little bit of green. So I don't know what's going to happen with these two guys. I really don't know how she found out about the cheating. I don't know. Maybe somebody told her. No, I did that in a different save. This is just all new. <laughs> this is all new content. <laughs> thank you so much for the follow, Depp. And thank you for the prime sub, noble lady. Thank you very much. Mary Sue knows knows it all somehow. She knows. She knows. I don't know how she knows. Buy something on sale. We're not going to a graveyard. Um, Daniel, your wants. I just hate it when they have this many wants because then I feel overwhelmed. I'm like, what should I do with you? I know. I'll just make you go to sleep. And he's upset. He's upset because he got caught cheating. You should be upset, Daniel. And Angela 
just over here doing her homework like she doesn't even so she doesn't know about her dad cheating he wants to be, be friends with nina oh lord have mercy he wants to become friends with nina or she, oh no that's her i thought that was daniel <laughs> no um angela wants to become friends with nina never mind sorry that's not nearly as exciting learn athletic skill learn how to drive okay i'm getting rid of be friends with nina we're gonna do learn how to drive maybe daniel can take her um, and teach her how to drive kind of thank you so much for the sub skyrim simmer thank you very much she's thinking about hy being hydrophobic i don't know okay whatever um all right when i saw nina's face and john's face i was like oh god what happened but no she's just training him <laughs> okay uh i don't know what i want to do with these sims now daniel no don't you don't 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 go up there so yeah lilith if you don't know if you weren't here for the other streams um lilith has moved out and lilith has moved in with her boyfriend dirk so right now only angela mary sue and daniel live here and we're going to lock this door so that they don't come in here trying to use her computer to everyone but her. And then, Daniel, you just need to go to bed, okay? Maybe you could do a workout. Let's have him do a workout. Thank you so much for the sub, Amber. Thank you very much. Okay, let's have him. He wants to become more muscular and all that kind of crap. So let's go have him pump some iron. You don't need to be in your daughter's room using the computer. Go pump some iron. <laughs> yeah that'd be a good idea he could because he wants to train somebody and she wants to learn the athletic skill so that would be really good for them to go to the gym together and um, maybe we'll try to do that tomorrow because it's getting a little late tonight and angela's still in here doing her homework okay wait what am i doing no what am i doing i don't want to go subterranean there oh my god what what hold on what no pause no no <laughs> no 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 dawn and brandy oh brandy why no 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 brandy's supposed to be with mortimer oh my god this is awful okay we know it's not gonna last very long though okay so it's not gonna last i do not believe this will last so this is the first time in any game ever that I have had Dawn and Brandy get together. I don't know. I just hope that she wises up and breaks up with him very soon. Oh my God. <sighs> Dawn will do, Dawn will do anybody. I don't know, but Brandy, Brandy deserves so much better, y'all. I wanted her to get married to Mortimer. They're probably gonna have a baby. They're probably gonna have a freaking baby. Yeah. Oh my God, he, if he's faithful to her, I swear to God, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Dandy, <laughs> Dandy, oh my God. If they stay together as a strong couple for the rest of the time, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Daughter Brandy got married in your game? <laughs> I can't believe that. I have never had her get with Dawn before, ever. <sighs> their baby will be super cute though yeah you're right about that yep your name is their couple name dandelion <laughs> oh my god i just cannot believe that i wanted her with darren or mortimer or anybody right now darren is dating nina i believe god it's hard to keep up with these sims i swear okay daniel what are you doing you need to go to sleep now what Dawn! Dawn, you dirty freaking dog. Dawn Lothario and Cassandra Goth have been hitting it off rather well lately and close friends have been asking, could it be love? He's seeing Cassandra and Brandy now. And he and Cassandra already broke up and now they're getting back together, but he's also seeing Brandy on the side. Oh my God. Dawn, Dawn, Dawn. I don't know. He's this. It's it's Dawn for you. Next next, it's gonna be Nina. He's gonna get with everybody. I guarantee he's gonna get with everybody. <laughs> yeah, Cassie was. Uh, she was stalking him, and I guess it did pay off. I don't know. I just don't want Brandy and Cassandra to get hurt. Unroutable Sim. <laughs> Dawn got stuck in the bushes. <laughs> okay.
okay, I gotta hydrate from Kate. <laughs> it wouldn't be Dawn if he didn't. You're right about that. Okay. Oh, good for you, Daniel. Daniel just became more muscular. He is working out. He's got to keep up on his appearance now. Mary Sue caught him cheating. Let's see. Buy something worth a hundred simoleons? I can do that. You're not learning painting or meeting a supernatural. Okay, what should we buy? Let's see. What do they need in this house? What do we need here? I don't know. He just wants to buy something. I hate it when they just want to buy something. Like, what the heck am I supposed to buy? Let's buy a rug. This house has no rugs. He needs his own bed. <laughs> yes. Yes, I think he does need to buy his, he does need his own bed. I'm going to make him sleep on the couch. I'm going to buy a rug. Um, if I can find one. Let me see. Let me see. Where are the rugs? There we are. So he, it needs to be 100 simoleons. Okay, this flying carpet is 100 simoleons. Let me see what colors we have. I have like a green. We could put this right in the at the entryway. That's not green. That's like brown. Let me see. Got any better colors? That color. Oh, I forgot we have creative style. So I can just change the color. But I'm just going to use a swatch. I know the men of Pleasant View, man. What the heck's wrong with them? They're awful. Yeah, and see, I'm really hoping that Daniel... I'm just going to leave it at this one. That one's fine. I'm really hoping that Daniel and Mary Sue do have a child. And then we can put him upstairs. Or I say him or her. Could be a girl. Upstairs in Lilith's old room. Let's check on Angela. All right, I think it's time for her to go to bed. She just has a bunch of athletic wants. So let's go ahead and send her to the bathroom, send her to bed. I don't know when she's going to be finding out that she's pregnant, but it should be very soon. Definitely should be very soon. <clears throat> Pleasant View and Pleasant View cheaters. We do. We need that Pleasant baby. Thank you so much for the prime sub, T-Y-Z. S Z. <laughs> okay, so I, Angela's going to sleep. We're gonna keep watching out for that, for that baby bump. I'm just gonna call it a baby bump, okay? Because I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> and then Mary Sue is going to bed. She's so mad at Daniel that I don't know if we're gonna get another baby from these two. Let me see how how much time we have. Okay, we got 36 days. For them to either repair their marriage and have a baby or for Mary Sue to divorce Daniel. I just really don't know how she found out they were cheat that he was cheating. And he wants to flirt. Of course he does. Um, wow, Dina just got a hundred simoleons from Brandy. Really, Dina? Brandy is broke. Her name is broke. <laughs> And you just mooched a hundred simoleons off of her? <laughs> she might kick him to the curb. Their relationship is not good. Okay, Daniel, that's enough. I don't think he's gonna... Can he sleep in bed with her even? Let's see. He might have to sleep on the couch. I don't remember if he can... If they're... I don't know if their relationship is too low or not. No, he can't sleep with her. Okay, so you, you better go nap on the couch all night. I don't know what to tell you, Daniel. That's what you get. That is what you get. Thank you so much for the follow. Er, not Shona, not Sona. <laughs> I don't know how to say your name, but thank you. Yeah, it's five days. Um, Okay, John and Jennifer are always good to each other. Good for you, John and Jennifer. The only loyal couple in town. John and Jennifer and Herb and Coral usually stay together in my games. Daniel, are you waking up from your nap? You better take another one. I'm just going to have to have him nap all all freaking night long. Oh, I don't care. Okay, we got skill increases, nerds, training, uh, new flirts. Oh, my God, Dawn. Mooches, friends, skill increase. Okay, we didn't miss anything. We didn't miss anything. Oh, no! Jennifer Burb has been living large and beyond her means, and she was unable to pay her most recent tax bill. Uh-oh, Burbs, you better get it together. Orlando Sintowski's unpopularity has not been helping to retain Lilith Pleasant as a friend. Oh, yes! 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 Lo 
love is blossoming between Mortimer Goth and Brandy Broke. The new couple were out in the town recently, arm in arm, enjoying each other's company. Thank you, Brandy. It didn't take her long to get away from Dawn. <laughs> it did not take her long. <laughs> And Brandy, oh no, Brandy and, oh my God, this is so funny. She starts dating Mortimer because her family can't pay their tax bill. <laughs> She's looking for that money, y'all. <laughs> She's like, we need some money. I got to go try and date Mortimer Goth. <laughs> I love that. It's so funny. Okay. Um, so that's good. That's really good for us. It's better than Dawn. My God. <laughs> she took some advice from Dina. <laughs> Okay, Daniel, back to your naps. Back to your nap. You're going to have a rough night out here on the couch. Uh, okay, that's fine. Whatever. I need to go in and mess around with my stories so that I only get the important ones that I actually want. Brandy broke it. Oh, no, no, Brandy. Brandy, what the hell is wrong with you? What? All right, well, Brandy's now decided to go back to Dawn. <coughs> Brandy Broke and Don Lothario seem willing to try though and have decided to go steady I can't Brandy what are you doing what are you doing it's not gonna last y'all it's not gonna last it is not gonna last I promise you oh yeah he can sleep in Lilith's bed I don't know why I didn't think about that I saw somebody say that yeah let's go send him to sleep up here uh oh here we go baby bump time we just found out that she's prego. There we go. Your sim is pregnant and glowing. Angela has just found out she's pregnant. Okay. Well, we. Oh my God. She wants to have a boy. Okay. What can we get rid of? Part time job. Yeah. You don't need a part time job. Have a boy instead. Okay. So let's go get her some middle of the night food. <laughs> it's four thirty in the morning. I guess. Um. Eat some mac and cheese. Daniel, you can go upstairs and sleep. Oh my God. So what time is it? It's Saturday at 4.30. So about Monday around 4.30 is when we're going to have um, our little broke pleasant baby. Man, being a teen mom is going to be rough on these girls because their lifespans are long. So they're probably going to end up having a ton of freaking kids. <laughs> oh, wow, Pixel. That's funny. Yeah, I bet Dawn will get Brandy pregnant and dump her. That would not surprise me at all. That really wouldn't. I have never had those two um, go for each other like that before. Oh, I don't care about Brandy's handiness. Brandy's handy. <laughs> I know they could start their own teen mom series. They really can. Oh, that's, look at that. Look at that. Somebody left some macaroni in their bowl. <laughs> some rotten macaroni. Um, do apples and watermelons? I don't know which one is which. Which one is which for The Sims 3, guys? And we can try and ha make her have a boy. We have only boys, though, I think. Apples for boys, watermelons for girls. We'll see. I don't like to influence it, though. I'm like, I want a girl, dang it. <laughs> I want a girl. But she wants a boy, so it doesn't matter what I want. Brady's improved her handiness skill to level four. Boy is apple. Okay, I don't think they have any apples, so we'll have to see if we can get her some. Yeah, I think it just increases chances too. It doesn't guarantee it. But we'll have to uh, see if we can get her some. Right now, I'm going to send her upstairs to take a bath. And then I'm going to let her go back to sleep for a little bit. All boys born are related to this child. Oh, are they? Oh, yeah, Lilith and then the Burbs. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's true. Brandy is... Brandy almost like... Brandy... Wait, what? Ugh, I can't read. It is almost like a second job. Brandy Broke was recently paid 50 simoleons to repair Herb Oldie's toilet. Thank you for the follow, Sholil. And I got a hydrate from Amber. Let me do that. I don't know if I already did that. I'm do it again. So, um, I like that. I feel like Herb was, like, seeing that Brandy was down on her luck. So, he's like, hey, I got a toilet you can unclog. I'll pay you 50 simoleons. <laughs> Thanks, Herb. How nice of you. Okay, she's going to take a bath now. And Daniel's sleeping here, and Mary Sue's down here. 
Mary Sue is really very upset, y'all. She got cheated on. And I have no idea how she found out about it. That's still killing me that I don't know how she found out about it. Earn some money that, yeah, that's so messed up. Dina probably took her last hundred bucks because then we just got that message that she, she couldn't pay her bills. <laughs> Herb wants a piece of brandy too. He probably does. Probably does. <laughs> I know she, it's possible Angela could have twins, but I really hope not. I really hope not. I don't want her to have twins if possible. Okay, Mary Sue, time to get up, get ready for, oh, she doesn't have to work today. God, what are we gonna do with you all day? What are we gonna do with you, Mary Sue, for two days if you don't have to work? Go get ready for the day and why don't you cook some breakfast? Or actually, I think, no, okay, yeah, cook some breakfast. Let's see, what can we make? The only thing we can make is peanut butter and jelly? What happened to all of this? I thought I got stuff for like hot dogs and stuff. Oh, you need a grill or a microwave. That's what I should have bought with the, whenever he wanted to buy something is a microwave. They randomly find out sometimes. Yeah, she might, if the fruit might not work now. I don't really know. I never use that because I never, like, try to influence it. So, I don't know. Love yourself, Brandy. <laughs> okay, so she's going to make some PB&J for breakfast. Daniel's still sleeping. Lilith's going to sleep. I don't know. Nothing exciting is happening right now. Let's speed this up. Let's speed this up. I want that baby. <laughs> we got to wait all the way till Monday to have the baby. Mortimer Goth is such a softy when it comes to down and out sims. I threw Lilith Pleasant a couple of 44 simoleons. A couple of 44 simoleons? Does that mean like 88 simoleons? Mere pocket change, really. Hopefully she'll be she'll be able to buy some decent clothes or possibly a bubble bath. <laughs> Mary Sue! Oh, why did you break the tub? No, don't break the tub. Okay, go eat. Wait, what does she want it? Oh, that's not Mary Sue. <laughs> We're on the letter G. G, G, G. G is in Gregnant. I hope the baby ends up being named Greg. <laughs> All right, Mary Sue. Cook, make that PB&J. Hurry up, because you're starving, too. Buy a firecracker. Learn handiness skill. What is that? Buy something on sale. Lilith's happy she got support from Mortimer. Yeah, I bet she is happy. <laughs> I bet she is. All right, come on now. And also, Angela will be getting... I think Angela will be getting child support from Dustin. Daniel's starting to feel ill. Oh, well. Illness means nothing in this game. I need to get a mod that makes illness more serious. G for Gregnet or Gregante. <laughs> I'm not naming the baby Greg Gregnante. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Once you get up, does he have to work today? Um, no? Yeah, he does. Seven hours. He has to work in seven hours. So he needs to go ahead and get up and start getting ready for the day. I'm going to let poor Angela just sleep as long as she wants to because it's Saturday. Dustin cannot afford that child support. No, he can't. <laughs> I am not, probably not going to, I don't know about university. I don't know. Um, I haven't decided, honestly. And we have, we still have a lot of time. Like we have um, 16 days to decide if we want to send them to college or not. So I'm probably going to have to make a decision by next stream. I don't know. Don't know. <clears throat> okay, Daniel. Um, on the one hand, I hate that they don't go to college. And on the other hand, I don't really like college in The Sims 3. I think that I'm going to have to find... I'm going to have to play around with it and see if I can find a way to play it that I enjoy. Or that it at least makes it doable. So we'll just have to see. Because I don't like the idea of them not going to college. Homeworld college doesn't work. So, I'm sure there are mods that make college shorter. If so, I need them. 
Yeah, it's very different from The Sims 2. The Sims 2 is my favorite college. Yeah, it does. It takes a long time in The Sims 3. I haven't played University in The Sims 3 in a long time, but... What I don't like about it is it just... Basically, what I don't like about it is it doesn't work well. Like, you can't... Well, you guys told me that you can send multiple Sims if we put them all in one household. I'm still not sure how that's going to work. So, I don't know. Let me get back to you on it. I'm going to have to do some experimenting around on my own. I'll try to re I'll try to remember to do that. Who? What? What? Hey! Who the... Who the hell are you, kid? <laughs> Why is this kid in his underwear just showing up on our lot? Alan Livingston! That's the paper boy! <laughs> Hey, kid, what are you doing? What do you think you're doing? What? What? Did he? Alan! <laughs> He's going... Oh, there he... What? <laughs> he ran through that. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I'm not going to delete Alan because he's a, he's a Pleasant View uh, townie. He's a Pleasant View NPC, I mean. I'm sorry. I think he was going to the pool, but then it was time for him to go deliver papers or something. <laughs> he needed a break. <laughs> okay, oh, we got a meme time. Okay, let's save. They deliver the newspaper for like 15 minutes. They do whatever on your lot. Wow. I think he wanted to go use the pool. Yeah, I'm going to have Mary Sue fix that because she wants to learn the handiness skill. So I'm going to have her try to fix that uh, bath. I know! He just walked right through it! Well, thank you, Ivy. I just saved for you. <laughs> just for you. Okay, let me see what kind of memes you guys have for me today. Oh my god, I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful. Oh my god, this... Okay, here's a funny one. I just opened it up. I just opened up uh, Discord, and this is what I had. Alright, you guys ready? Lucy around her family in Orlando. Lucy when no one is looking. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, uh, we're gonna poop on that, and then here's another one. I fear no man. I have. I don't get this at all. Is this must be from some game that I don't get? <laughs> I don't get. I don't know what this is. But thank you, Sammy. You're always posting memes that I don't get. <laughs> oh, it's the Brook Heights. Oh. <laughs> That's him? Oh, I didn't know what he looked like, I guess. Yeah, I know who Artie is, but I didn't know that was him. <laughs> so, okay, that's funny then. He doesn't show his face? Oh, okay. All right. Oh, here's my face. What is this? When Melba shows up in Pleasant View, you know what? I'm tired of your presence. Dismissed. <laughs> yes, that is exactly how I feel about Melba. Only in The Sims 3, I wish she was in The Sims 3 just so I could annihilate her. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you for sharing those memes. Oh, we got a commercial break, too. Okay, we might as well do that while we're here. All right, let me go find something safe. <laughs> find some... <laughs> I like how somebody put an X on Baby Wee Wee. Thank you. Thank you now. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Malware. Okay, let's see. What do I want to watch today? What do you got for me? Um, The Potty Putter. Oh, my God. I think I've seen this before. Okay, hold on. We're going to watch this one. I think I know oh, what this no, is. You and it's really weird. <laughs> All right, here we go. That was you, Hendrick. <laughs> like, no, baby, wee wee, no. <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. Um, this is the potty putter. Okay, the quality is really bad, so I'm sorry. That's you not my fault. You missed that putt again. You probably don't have enough time to practice. <laughs> you can have it's more safe. time to practice your putting with the potty putter, oh, the amazing gross. new toilet time <laughs> golf game that lets you practice your putting How on the putty. How long are you sitting your on the toilet? Your potty putter comes with its own putting How green, long? made of the same professional carpet found at <laughs> miniature golf courses. Now practice your putting every time you take care of your other business. I don't know, but I've seen this before. I don't know where Just I've seen this. Just aim and shoot the ball into the cup 
Just think, all that no. extra practice every time you visit the job. Extra In practice. In no time, you'll shave strokes from your game. Just uh. choke up on your putter and sink the ball. No, 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 over no. and over again. When you're bored in the bathroom, you rush, and that's unhealthy. But with the potty putter, pre pre you take the time era. to play with your putter. It's the How most long are you on the toilet to, to play golf? Your, game. your potty putter is the perfect gift for the man on the go. He'll relax and think <laughs> of you every time he practices putting. It's oh ideal for the executive washroom so... at the office. Look again how easy it is to practice your putting in the bathroom with the potty but putter. But you're not really now, practicing your, your putting, putting with the potty putter for just $19.99. But wait, call now and we'll include the doorknob hangers warning everyone not to disturb you <laughs> while you you're practicing your putting. <laughs> the potty putter with the putting green, the putting cup and flag, two potty putter golf balls, the putter potty and do putter. not disturb door hanger do not are disturb. only $19.99. Don't Do not limit disturb your life to a potty putty. Potty putts in here. With a potty putter, <laughs> the instant a solution that lets you practice your putting every day. <laughs> so, but the thing is, though, you're not. Oh my God, it's Teddy Bear! It's Teddy Bear! <laughs> hold on, we gotta watch this one again. <laughs> you're, because, the hold on, your car I just have to say this. Your... I just have to get this off my chest. If you go out to the actual golf course. You, it's not going to be the same. What are you going to do? Squat down and be like, all right, guys, I've been practicing this. I'm going to putt. You got to squat down like you're on a toilet. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> okay. All right. We're watching Titty Bear. Here we go. Is your shoulder strap too tight and annoying? <laughs> Introducing the Titty Bear, the cute little guy that eliminates all those problems. Oh designed to make driving more These comfortable. These are real, too. The we found the website. The Titty Bear snaps onto your shoulder strap. And moves up and These down are for real. to remove the you pressure can buy wherever one right you need. My shoulder strap used to pull so tight I could hardly breathe. Now with the titty bear, I really enjoy traveling again. The patent pending design wow, that was swivels a great to work from either the driver's side or passenger seat and fits all <laughs> makes and models. Just snap it on, slide it where it relieves the pressure, you know, and drive I need away. One too, the titty bear stays honestly. where you want it until you move it. My wife used to always complain about the pressure from her shoulder belt. Look, Not he's anymore. got one too. And the teddy bear works so great. He's got, he got one, one too. for himself too. The cuddly <laughs> teddy bear is filled with soft, cushy beads, so it snuggles comfortably to your needs. Place it, it, it here, snuggles or here, comfortably. Or anywhere you need to, to keep those needs. irritating straps from digging in. My shoulder strap was always digging in. But the teddy bear, it makes it comfortable for me to drive again. The teddy right. bear works great for men and women and kids of all sizes. <laughs> it works for everyone, and it's easy to slide out of the way when not in use. Oh, the secure snap-on button <laughs> makes the teddy bear safe and fun for infants and small children. If oh you're in gosh. and out of your car all day like I am, you're really going to enjoy the comfort of the teddy bear. Now you can have <laughs> your own teddy bear them and say eliminate it. those it's annoying like so shoulder funny. strap pains. Call and order <laughs> your teddy bear right now. Like, they know exactly what they were doing with that name. They know exactly. Handling. Mention this commercial and we'll give you a second titty bear absolutely free. Yep, it's still it's still the same price, too. I believe it's still the same price. So, I am so short that whenever I sit in the car, the seatbelt, like, strangles my neck. <laughs> so, like, I honestly could use one of those. <laughs> I know, being the actor... Be the actor in there. The teddy bear is wonderful. <laughs> Same, Shannon. <laughs> oh, man. That's probably what I should do, Joe, but that's not nearly as good as the teddy bear. <laughs> okay, thank you guys for sharing. Oh, you guys shared potty putter. Thank you for Fork and Toaster for sharing the potty putter. And then we got a bonus teddy bear. <laughs> I want a teddy bear, not something normal. <laughs> oh my god, if I, I I might just buy one of those someday. I might just. Um, thank you for the follow, Fairy Tale Abby. Oh, and I got a save game. Okay, let's save. <laughs> I'm five one two. I'm not five one two. I'm five one also. <laughs> That's how tall I am. Five one. It's rough. I wish I could just have like three more inches. If I could just have three more inches, my life would be so much better. Like you guys don't realize how good it is to be normal size. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Naisha. 
<laughs> you went and watched Baby Wee Wee? <laughs> That's really something. Oh, God. Yeah, I can't find any pants to fit me. I have to. What I normally do is get pants that are supposed to be capris on a normal size person, and then they'll be just regular pants on me. <laughs> okay. You're 6'2? Wow. Mr. Pleasant is six feet tall, so he's like almost a foot taller than me. <laughs> I, I wish I was 5'5, five, 5'6. Five, five, I really do. It would make my life so much easier. You do that too, Tristess. <laughs> okay, Mary Sue, get in here. Wait, what are you doing? Wait, 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 what's happening? Be smooched. Let's see if she's going to go for it. He's thinking about how his heart is broken and then he smooched her. Oh, she went for it. She went for it. They're making up, y'all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're five feet. Yep. You got to climb everything. I do. I have to climb on my own cabinets. And let me tell you, our house, the lady who used to live here was like six feet tall. And she had the cabinets specially made for her. So that my cabinets in my kitchen like come up to here on me. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> I have to use a step stool all the time in my kitchen. Oh my God. Why did I buy this house? Okay, things are not. Wait, wait. Okay, never mind. I thought they were gonna go woohoo, but I was wrong. All right, Mary Sue. Um, why don't you fix this? Don't you want to learn handiness? <laughs> my sister's really short too, uh, like me. But my mom was like a normal size. Like my mom's like five five, or she was. But me and my sister are really short. We took after my dad's side of the family. <laughs> I am very short. And that's it's another problem with being very short is you can't eat hardly anything. Like if I eat over 1200 calories, then I gain like 15 pounds. Like you have a very low caloric needs and that sucks. That sucks. <laughs> the green hand is creeped out. She's creeped out because uh Daniel was trying to flirt with her and he's embarrassed now okay dawn is training dustin wow all right let's see if we got anything good partnered brandy and dawn that's just too bad <laughs> wow wow Kristen. <laughs> you're the shortest person in your family uh, the people on my dad's side of the family are shorter Shorter, on the shorter side. I have little bitty feet too, and that sucks. I hate it. Um, I wear a size five and a half shoe. And do you know how hard it is to find shoes? Very, very hard. I usually, they don't have anything in my size, or I have to like try go, to go look at the kids section. <laughs> it sucks, I hate it. I just wanna be a little bit bigger. Um, Nina has been out on the town. Oh, I don't give a crap. If you're not having babies or getting partnered, don't tell me about it. <laughs> you're a ten and a half and you can't find shoes either? My mom was just a normal seven, but me and my sister both got tiny little freaking feet. And like, I don't even look like normal. I feel like I'm just walking around on these tiny little stubs. <laughs> like, I just want to wear shoes that are too big for me so I look normal. <laughs> You're five and a half too? Yeah, it's really hard. It's really hard. Yeah, I bet it would be hard if you have wide feet. You're a UK size three and that's a five in the US? Yep, I feel your pain. I feel your pain. <laughs> I have baby feet too. Okay, Mary Sue. What are you what are you up to? Do something interesting. Listen, Daniel keeps trying to suck up to her, y'all. He's like trying to go compliment her and stuff. And she's just like not happy with him right now. Let's see. Let's see how she takes it. Let's see how she takes the compliment. <laughs> you wear the large, the large lady socks. Mortimer and Dina. Oh my God, Mortimer and Dina are getting together. Well, that's something, I guess. <laughs> that's something. 
<laughs> okay, uh, Angela, how are you doing, honey? I haven't been checking on you. She's going to talk to her dad. She's she's thinking about her pregnancy. She's talking to him about moving out and exercise. <laughs> I'm happy for Dina and Mortimer, I guess, but I really wanted Brandy and Mortimer. That was just the best. That was the best pairing. I'm kind of disappointed. Because now Brandy's going to end up sad and alone. You know she is. Because she is not going... Uh, Dawn is going to pump her and dump her, y'all. Oh! Dina and Mortimer are now committed to each other. So I also like this because it follows the traditional story. But then I'm a little bit sad because, like, I don't know what's going to happen with Brandy. Yep, Dina did it. She's taking Mortimer away. She's getting him under her thumb. Okay, Angela. Um, she wants to read a baby a book about pregnancy, so we might need to go down to the bookstore. Um, let's go get you some mac and cheese first, though. We got to keep that hunger up. Let's eat some mac and cheese. Nothing is worse to me than leftover mac and cheese that's been in the fridge, and it's all like congealed. Even if you warm it up, it's never the same. Mortimer and Dina married in yours too. Oh, that's awesome. He, I know, Dina took her last dollar and took her man. Darren's been writing books. He's gonna, Darren is always, like, loaded. By the time we get back to playing Darren again, he's gonna have, be, like, so rich. <laughs> it's a solid block of cheese, yes. Well, yeah, you know Dina just wants the money. But, yeah, she's not being a very good friend to Brandy right now. I even, I don't even like, because we don't eat nasty box mac and cheese in this house. We eat mac and cheese, I make it from scratch. Oh my god, look at these two. And it's not even good leftover. See, she lets him kiss her. Oh no, now she's mad. Now she's mad. See, this would be a good thing to put in my jealousy video, because this kind of shows, like, the long-term effects of cheating in The Sims 3. Look at this! Dawn and Brandy... Oh, that's right. They already got together. <laughs> I forgot. I thought that I forgot that they got committed to each other. It's happening too fast. I can't keep up with the relationships, y'all. <laughs> I hate, I hate box mac and cheese too. I don't like it at all. Uh, Mr. Pleasant likes it, but I never let him eat it. <laughs> well, it's not that I don't let him. It's just I don't buy it. <clears throat> Darren married Brandy in your game. Oh man, I'm sad. You just had mac and cheese. Okay, uh, Angela, what are you doing? Oh, oh, okay. I mean, that's one way to spend your time, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's get Angela out of the house for a little bit. I'm gonna send her down to the bookstore to buy a pregnancy book because God knows nobody in this house is gonna teach her about, about pregnancy. She's gonna have to go learn about it on her own. Um, I use a I use a Betty Crocker recipe for my Betty Crocker cookbook, but basically you just make a cheese sauce out of flour, butter, milk, cheese, dry mustard powder, salt, and pepper, and then I just make I cook the macaroni and then I mix it with the cheese sauce. But you could probably find a good recipe online. <laughs> if I'm Pleasant Sims, I'm Mrs. Sims, but my husband is Mr. Pleasant. Eh, close enough. <laughs> close enough. Okay, no, you're not going to go swimming right now. You need to go to the store. Um, let's go get ourselves a pregnancy book so she can learn about what she's getting into. Let's see. Bookstore. Shop for books. All right. Where's your house? I don't know. Yeah, she's the lady who refuses to even talk about periods. She's a prude. Oh, you're taking a taxi? Oh, that's right, because you can't drive. We should have had Daniel drive her down there, but oh well. You found a cookbook from 1926? Oh, be still my heart. <laughs> I love old vintage cookbooks. I love them so much. Um, Even though I hate cooking. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> okay, she's going in. We're going to buy a pregnancy book here. Now, where the heck are the pregnancy books? I think they're under general... Comics, general. I think they're under general. Let's see. Pregnancy books, pregnancy books. Where are the pregnancy books? 
Nope. I'm looking. I'm looking. I think they're down here. They're really freaking expensive. Oh, here it is. Baby incoming. Preparing with vigilance. All right. We'll take it. 75 simoleons. Ouch. Okay. Why don't you stay out here and read like somewhere out over here on the bench or something. Let's have her read this book. And learn a little something about what's about what you're about to go through, Angela. And be terrified. <laughs> Oh, I do not like gumbo. I do not. I do not. <laughs> I but I have a really bad taste in my mouth, so to speak, of gumbo. Because when I was a kid, my dad had a really good friend who's Cajun. And he would make, like, they he would make, like, these big, huge, like, literally vats of food. And one time he made turtle gumbo with turtle meat. Like... They cleaned a turtle and chopped it up and made gumbo. And it was the most disgusting thing I have ever put in my mouth. It tasted like swamp water. And so I know that's not traditional gumbo, but that's what I think of. That's what I relate it to in my mind. <laughs> I love a thick potato soup though. Yes, turtle, turtle, like the turtle with the shell. Gumbo, it tastes like swamp, okay? It tastes like a swamp. It's, it's disgusting. It's very disgusting. No, they just got some kind of swamp turtle out of the freaking swamp. <laughs> Darren Dreamer can't seem to find time for his friend Dirk Dreamer. Is Darren going to be a deadbeat dad again, y'all? I don't know. I don't know what kind of dress she's wearing. <laughs> That's her maternity dress. That's what she decided to wear. Let's see who else is out here. Oh my god, look, it's Dina and Dina. Daniel Pleasant will need to leave leave for work soon. Okay, I don't care. Oh, they're going to go eat. They're going to go eat at the bistro. There's Brandy, Jennifer, Cassandra. Cassandra with her side ponytail that she chose for herself. <laughs> Um, I did update The Sims 3. Sorry, I was reading that. Um, I did update The Sims 3 somewhat in this save file. I updated a whole, like, a lot of the decorations and stuff. Lilith Pleasant and Dark Dreamer got into a heated argument on the sidewalk. Oh my god. But if you mean, like, the houses and stuff, I may do that eventually. I don't know. I ha I'd have to be in the, in the mood for it. <laughs> But I might do it someday. Oh, I gotta save. Okay. I'll save. No, I, d I see that negative interaction right now between Darren and Cassandra. What is he doing? I don't know who Darren... So Darren is dating Nina right now, right? I think so. I don't know. I'm just waiting on her to get knocked up. Dina, Nina, Brandy... We haven't had any pregnancies in a little while. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. Yeah, they're not getting along very well at all, are they? No. There's Mortimer, too. Everybody's here. Dang, this place is hopping. <laughs> this place is hopping. Oh, I got hydrates. I got a hydrate for Mirka. I got a hydrate for Shauna. Sean or Shauna? I don't know. One and two did they break up sunset maybe they did i can't remember um thank you so much for the prime sub mystic mal thank you and thank you for the follow simpson thank you okay i just want to i just want to creep on everybody and see what they're doing whoa cassandra you stay away from dirk he's too young for you she's talking to him about babies cassandra get out of here <laughs> Oh my god. Yes, I do enjoy reading very much. Um, I I am currently reading a book, although I'm like not reading it as often as I would like to. <laughs> but I'm reading the, uh, oh my god, what the heck's the name of the book? <sighs> wow, I don't think I've read it. I don't think I've picked it up, honestly, in a couple weeks. Um... I can't remember the name of it. Hold on, it'll come to me. <laughs> Just sitting in there on my nightstand. It'll come to me and I'll tell you, Kristen. 
Oh, what's happening here? I like to read a lot. I don't have as much time to read as I would like. Or I don't make as much time to read as I would like to. Um, I used to read uh, every single day. And I haven't been doing that pretty much for the past, like, six to eight months. I haven't been reading every day. You're reading The Witching Hour by Anne Rice? Ooh. I bet that's good. I tried to read Interview with the Vampire not too long ago, and I couldn't really get into it. And I'm surprised because I really, really love the movie. But the book, I don't know. I don't know what it was about it. I couldn't get into it. Jennifer and Dawn are arguing. Well, that doesn't surprise me. I'm just leaving all those people alone and coming back to look at Angela. <laughs> you just watched the movie a couple nights ago. It's honestly one of my favorite movies. My favorite movie is The Crow. <laughs> I'm such like a, I'm such a teenage emo or something. <laughs> oh, I got two hydrates from green carrot and abstab. One. Two. I see him back there all alone. No, I am not. I do not do these free vacations because they're buggy as heck. I read primarily fantasy and sci-fi. Primarily fantasy is what I like. I like dark fantasy. My favorite author is Mark Lawrence. Well, well, one of my favorite authors. Actually, I have a tie for favorite author. They're Robin Hobb and Mark Lawrence are my favorite authors. My favorite holiday is autumn and fall. Yes, the same. Not autumn and fall, but autumn or fall. <laughs> oh, look, there goes Dustin. Um, what the heck is the name of the book I'm reading? It's part of a trilogy, and that's why I can't think of it. Hold on. Um, I can't think of it. It's going to come to me. <laughs> it's going to come to me. Oh, my God. You have to read it, Kristen. Assassin's Apprentice. The whole entire... There's nine books in total in that whole series. They ripped my heart open, and... This is my favorite book series of all time. If you want to be just devastated, just bawling and crying at the end of it, then just go ahead and read it. It, it like, tore me apart. No other book ha books have ever impacted me as much as those books. Um, and there, I also have the new... Actually, there's 12 books now because she wrote another trilogy, and I have all of them in hardback, and one of them signed that Mr. Pleasant got for me, and I haven't read them yet because I, like, don't know if I'm emotionally ready for it. I have The Lies of Locke Lamora. That's the most recent book that I bought, Angie. I just recently bought the the uh, series of The Lies of Locke Lamora, and I haven't started reading it yet. But yes, I'm dying to read that, and I have it now. Okay, where is Angela? She's still over here. I'm just creeping on everybody else. <laughs> um, I read A Song of Ice and Fire... Up until I didn't read the very last book that was released, but I'm just over it. I'm just done with it. Like, I don't feel right demanding that George R. R. Martin finish the books because as a content creator myself, nothing is worse than somebody asking you to finish something that you have no motivation to finish or work on. So if he doesn't want to finish it, I'm cool with that. But I'm just like totally over the whole thing. <laughs> I love historical fiction, too, yeah. I love historical fiction, fantasy, and some sci-fi. You want to read Assassin's Apprentice is the first book in the series by Robin Hobb, Tristess. There are 12 books in the series. I've only read the first nine. At the end of the nine, just get ready to just have your heart just, like, ripped out of your soul. It's driving me crazy that I can't freaking think of the name of the book that I'm currently reading, which I need to go and finish it. <clears throat> I know nothing's happening in the... N.K. Jemison is the name of the author, is the author of the books that I'm reading. What the heck is the name of the book? The fifth season, oh, The Obelisk Gate. That's what it is, The Obelisk Gate. 
So N.K. Jemison wrote, um, she wrote a series of books called the, sorry guys if you're bored of me talking about books, but let me just get through this. Um, so the first book is The Fifth Season, and the second book is The Obelisk Gate, and the third book is Stone Sky, so I'm currently in the middle of The Obelisk Gate. And that, what's the heck's the name of the trilogy? Anyway, very, very good books. They are amazing books. There's so little fantasy out there th that is written by, th this one's written by a black woman, and there's like so little fantasy out there from that perspective, and it is amazing. It is top tier writing, and the world building is just so good. I would, if you like fantasy, I highly recommend N.K. Jemison. I think I'm saying her name right. Anyway, yes. Please, please read them if you have not, and you like fantasy. Did you read them, Angie? So good. So good. Yeah, I like, yes, I do like RPGs like Baldur's Gate. I'm looking at that new Baldur's Gate. It's looking good. <laughs> I know she finished. I'm over here. She's talking to Dirk. I guess we could send her home now. Um, let's see. Learn a new recipe. Okay, let's have her go buy a recipe book while she's here. I'm just going to have her spend all of Mary Sue and Daniel's money. Wait, that's the grocery store. Where the heck's the bookstore? Um, let's shop for books. Let's buy a recipe book for her. The Broken Earth. Thank you, Angie. God. It's called the Broken Earth Trilogy. Yes, Kristen, I would recommend that you read the Broken Earth Trilogy. Very, very good. Very good. So far, I'm only halfway through the second book, but I can tell you, the whole thing's good. <laughs> okay, let's see. So let's buy... Not music. Recipes. Um, chili garlic cabbage? Or stuffed cabbage rolls? Um, tofu sandwich... Man, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, let's do tofu sandwich. We're gonna have a tofu sandwich. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, la, 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 la. No. Here. Read book. Read tofu sandwich. Cabbage. I like cabbage. I like cabbage rolls. It's good. <laughs> I like tofu too. Chili garlic cabbage sounds good to me. Yeah, just that. That's it. That's the whole meal. <laughs> I like the recipe books too. Tofu sandwich. I think maybe you have to like, I think if you fried the tofu, you know, it would be good in a sandwich. <laughs> Ooh, I want to read the other Berlin girl too. That looks good to me. I like historical fiction like that. Even if it's not 100% accurate, I'm okay with that. Hey, good to simmer. <laughs> I like tofu, but I've never had it in a sandwich before. I have just not even been paying attention to Daniel and Mary Sue. Hey, Sandy Broody, you leave those kids alone. <laughs> oh, he liked it. <laughs> what do you know? Sandy Broody's good with the neighborhood children. Oh, thank you so much for the five months, Danny. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, congratulations, Mortimer. Congratulations, Jennifer. I don't give a crap. Angela just learned how to make tofu sandwich. Okay, it's time for us to send Angela home. She's so happy about that. All right, let's go. Um, what else can we do for you? Oh, she wants to... She wants to have father read pregnancy book. Okay, I think we better go home and invite Dustin over. And then we can let him have the book. She's like, okay, I read the book. I know what to expect. Now I got to give it to Dustin. So he knows what to expect. Tomb Raiding Hero. Go to Egypt. Nah, we're not going to do that right now. I, ha I know that I've read something by Philippa Gregory, but I don't remember what it is. But I know I have. I think deep fried breaded tofu sandwich would be good. Sounds good to me. Okay, so let's invite Dustin over. Um, let's see. So and see if we can get him to read the book. Call Sim, invite over Dustin. He hasn't been over to visit her since she found out she was prego anyway. 
And Mary Sue's out in the pool. She's just having her a nice, relaxing day off, having a swim. Um, and Daniel, what are you doing? Oh, oh, he's at work. I didn't even realize he was still at work. Okay. Anyway, Dustin's on his way home. Oh, on his way over. And Mary Sue, she's gonna have to get some food soon. She's all right for now. Uh, Angela's gonna go work out. Gonna do a little workout before Dustin gets here. <laughs> Angela is athletic, so with proper dedication to fitness and training, she could learn the athletic skill faster. Yeah, we need to send her and Daniel to the gym or see if we can get Daniel to train her. I don't know if he can train her on this thing or not. Tofu scramble is your favorite breakfast. I like a good tofu scramble, too. You can make it really good. I like to do a tofu breakfast sandwich occasionally, which is really good. Um, using, I like to use, uh, some soy sauce and nutritional yeast to season the tofu with. It's really good. If I'm feeling like not having any meats. He can? Okay, good. I usually don't like my historical books to be accurate. I like, I'm like, punch it up. Give me some romance. Give me some drama. <laughs> Uh, got into the Dragon Riders of Pern series. I Somebody bought me that book uh, for a gift one year and I don't know what happened to it. I never ended up reading it. <laughs> they surely make a lovely couple. Brandy Broke and Don Lothario seem to be inseparable. What happened to Dustin? I thought he was coming over. Did we miss him? Okay, we're gonna have to call him back because he's not here. Let's call um, call Sim invite over come on dustin okay he's not now he's so is he here or what oh he's here he's in the backyard i didn't even see him he went back here and started talking to mary sue he's like hello ma'am oh and angela's coming out here to give him an amorous hug <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, Brandy and Dawn are getting it on. Daniel left work today, earned 965 simoleons. What are you wearing? Angela, that's her pregnancy outfit? I thought she was wearing a dress. I don't even know. I love Call the Midwife. That is an amazing show. I love it to pieces. I'm, I'm way behind, though. Are they still making them? I'm, I'm in like season three or something. I completely forgot about that show. It is so good. I love it. If you like historical uh, fiction and stuff, watch Call the Midwife. I can't get Mr. Pleasant to watch it with me. He says it's a too feminine of a show. He doesn't like it. <laughs> I'm like, come on, watch it with me. I think that's why I stopped watching it. But now that I, now that he works night, I can watch it nights. I can watch it again. It's very very good. New seasons coming. Oh my god! I you know what you guys? I'm glad you reminded me of that because now I'm gonna start rewatching that. Now that I have some TV time alone. Um, hold on. Let's see here. Friendly visitor, existing friends, friendly outing, existing enemy. Oh my god! Lilith and Dirk became enemies. They never get together in my Sims Three game ever. Dawn and Brandy are friends. Um, Dean and Mortimer got partnered. Okay, anyway, we need to try to get him to read this book. Get over here and... What can we do? Do we just give it to him? Or, like, I don't know what to do. Yes, I used to love The Great British Bake Off. I loved it so much. Um, but I haven't watched it since Mary left. Since all, since all the people I like left. Although my favorite comedian is now hosting it, so maybe I should give it a try again. <laughs> yeah, they became enemies. Who became enemies? Not these two. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's just see if we can give him this book. Dustin, can we give this to you? Like, I'm trying to just put it inside of him. Take the book! Take it, Dustin! Take it! <laughs> Yes, Noel Felding, I love him to pieces. He he's um in my favorite show. My favorite show ever is The Mighty Boosh. And he stars in that show and he is hilarious. 
And if you like surreal humor, I highly recommend watching that. Oh, give gift. Yes, let me do give gift. That's a good good point. I always forget you can do that. So let's go to... Where is it? Am I missing it? What's it under? Is it maybe it's under friendly? Give gift. Okay. Um we're going to give him baby incoming. Visa. <laughs> you love the boosh? All right. Boosh fans unite. You and your ugly wife. <laughs> I love the IT crowd's probably my second favorite show. And I love Noel in that one too. <laughs> what a lovely gift. Thank you so much. He loves it. <laughs> okay, so maybe he'll read it now? I don't know. Like, can we convince him to read it or something? I don't know what we're supposed to do to fulfill this want. Let's see what it says. Your sim wants the baby's father to read one of the pregnancy books available so that when the time comes, everyone is ready. Okay, well, I gave him the book. I don't know what more I can do. <laughs> he likes the gift. He knows he's a dad. Yeah. Yeah, he's just gonna have to. He's just gonna have to read it on his own, I guess. Yeah, I'm not gonna control him. So we'll see if he reads it on his own. Oh, they're getting romantic over here. What are I'm? I've just been completely ignoring Daniel and Mary Sue. I'm so sorry, Daniel. What are you doing? You need to come home. Oh my God, you stink. You stink and you're hungry and you're standing outside your work reading a book? God, you're weird, Daniel. You're weirdo. Um, it looks like Mary Sue got some dinner. She's down. We're down to four days on her betrayed movelet. Things have not really improved in their relationship at all, though, y'all. <laughs> you stank. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have her use the bathroom, take a bath. Mary Sue's just relaxing today. She had a really nice day off by herself. To think about things. Um, Angela's bringing Dustin inside. I don't know what they're about to do. Go dancing. She Angela loves to dance. What does she want to do here? Learn athletic skill. We need. She needs to work out some more. Um, tell story. All right. Whatever. Hoping they do something more interesting than that. He, I know. Daniel, he's making terrible decisions here. Did he come home? All right. Go get yourself some food, stinky Daniel. Um, eat some mac and cheese, and then you can go take a bath when Mary Sue gets out. <sighs> Was he reading something? Oh, she's talking to him about the baby. Look. Oh. She's, they're talking. They're having a conversation about the baby that's coming. Is he happy about it? Yes. Aw, then he kissed her. Aw, that was so sweet. <laughs> Gotta read a book while I stink. I don't know what Dustin's wearing. I really honestly don't know why he's wearing this suit. Um, maybe he was going to eat at the bistro. And he's in his fancy clothes. Go to the day spa. I bet you do want to go to the day spa. She's get she's got the pregnancy walk now. Well, she doesn't look big enough to have the pregnancy walk, but she's got it anyway. Oh, is he gonna read? What's he reading? It's not that book, I don't think. I think he's reading something else. Handiness Volume One. Wow, wow, Dustin, you couldn't read the pregnancy book, huh? Yeah, she's got a teeny ba a teeny babby belly. Mary Sue's thinking about her betrayal, y'all. She's thinking about how Daniel betrayed her. Yep. And Dustin's thinking about her. Mary Sue. And Mary Sue's thinking about Dustin. Don't get weird in here. <laughs> Aw, thank you for shout out to me for doing my best to pronounce people's usernames. I'm sure I get them all wrong. But I try my best. He picked it from the shelf. Well, he needs to pick it from his inventory. <laughs> He's always wanting to talk to Mary Sue. I think he really wants her approval. Daniel, what are you doing? Oh, he's going to take a bath. All right. And then he wants to master the athletic skill. Okay, let's lock that one in. Oh, he wants a wash washing machine. We better get them a laundry. So what I like to do is I like to put the laundry over here, like in this little nook. So I'm going to sell this crap. And let's get them a laundry um, washer and dryer. That's what I'm trying to say. 
Where is the washer and dryer? Oh, th is it in the... Yeah, it's in the bathroom. Yeah, he needs to learn ha uh, handiness. That's true. I'm going to get them the mid-range models. Okay, so there's a washer and dryer. That took a bunch of their money. And then let's get hampers for everybody's rooms. We'll put one there. I feel like these hampers are, like, really big. I feel like they're very large. Large hampers. Okay, and where are we going to put this one? You guys have no room in your in your room. Mm, how about we get rid of this? We put that right there. Wait, what? Oh, no. The, the exercise machine is, like, going into the wall there. Oops. Okay, and let's recolor this. I want it to be, like, a darker. That's too dark. That is too dark. That's all right, I guess. Okay. Yeah, Daniel does not like Dustin at all. They're enemies, in fact. He's very mad. Yeah, they're they're extreme enemies. Um, he is very mad at Dustin for impregnating his daughter. So I hope they don't get into a fight or anything. Wow, Mortimer's now working in the sports career. I guess he just needed something to do with his life. He was getting bored with retirement. So he decided to go work in the sports career. Ugh. I'll probably get him out of that when we get over there. Mary Sue just tried to flirt with Dustin? What? Did she really? I didn't see that. Are you sure she tried to flirt? Maybe it was something else. Um, she's talking to him about dirty dishes. She's complaining about dirty dishes and he thinks that she's being boring. Who did they just uh, gossip about? He rejected it? Oh my God, y'all, what the heck? Mary Sue, you're being weird. Okay, it's time for you to go to bed. You need to go think about what you've done. Oh, I, I, she was just trying to do something else too. <laughs> Yeah, that'll get that'll get Daniel angry. Oh, could you imagine? Oh my god. If Daniel saw that happening, Angela does nothing but dance. All she wants to do is dance. <laughs> mhm. Mm yeah, we just basically I go to whoever's having a baby at the time, Nightcrawler. <gasps> right now we have no more pregnancies. Angela's our only pregnancy right now. And then if there's no pregnancies, then we'll just go, like, to whatever house we think there's going to be the most going on. Like, I would probably go to Dawn or maybe maybe Mortimer, maybe the Goths next if nobody gets pregnant. We'll see. Mary Sue's behaving inappropriately. She totally was. Okay, Angela, that's enough dancing, all right? That's enough dancing. And let's have her, let's get her some food. Oh, what is she going to go do? Compliment appearance. Okay, she wants to get romantic real quick. I guess we can let her do that. No, don't go in your parents' room with your mom asleep to get romantic with your boyfriend. That's weird. Like, he should have come in there. The baby's due tomorrow. No, 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 Monday. I'm sorry. Almost tomorrow. Okay, now, this is just... What are you doing? Why are you running around the house like a lunatic? I don't know. No, don't do laundry. Oh, my God. <sighs> Get something to eat. <laughs> eat some mac and cheese. Tell Dustin goodbye. And then we're going to put you to bed. Let's see. Can we tell him bye? Ask to leave. That sounds so rude. Ask to leave. Just get out. Just get out, Dustin. <laughs> and then she's going to go take a bath and go to sleep. And then we'll get through the night. Oops. Dancing queen. She's a dancing queen. That's the only, those are the only words I know. <laughs> my mom hit on my boyfriend and he's a teen. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Uh, I, I think everybody should be going to bed. Daniel wants to ask Angela about her day. All right, let's see. Ask. 
I don't have that option to ask about day. So I don't know what to tell you. Go to sleep. Oh, he's going to go sleep upstairs. I forgot he can't sleep with Mary Sue anymore. He's going to sleep upstairs in Lilith's bed. <laughs> it looks like it should have a basement. Yeah. A basement would probably be helpful. Okay, come on, Angela. You're taking too long. We want to see this baby. I want to see the baby. They take forever to bathe. I know. Okay, she asked uh, Dustin... I started to say Lilith, Dirk, and then Dustin. I can't remember anybody's name. I'm sorry. She told, oh my God, Dina Caliente was over at Don Lothario's home recently on her hands and knees begging for a bit of dough to tide her over to her next payday. Apparently, Don took pity on the wretched soul and donated 249 simoleons. <laughs> oh my God, Dina. You're over there mooching off Don. Jeez. She's dating Mortimer. She's uh trying to get money from Dawn. She doesn't care. She'll she'll get it wherever she can get it from. <laughs> uh, Master Magician, Jennifer Burb or Dawn Burb are still together. Angela did something. Okay. That's fine. Oh look, she wants to buy a crib, y'all. Okay, let's buy a crib. Let's buy a crib. Let's see here. Um, I guess we'll just put it in her room. And I'm just going to buy a yellow crib because we don't know the gender of the of the baby. Where the heck are we going to put a crib in here? We're going to have to do so. We're going to have to move some stuff around. Let's see. I think we can put this. Maybe we can move this like this. Can we put that there? I don't know. That should be okay. And then we'll put that there. Or then we can move this back here. Can we put that there? Maybe? Okay, I think that works. I think that works. So we got the crib in there. <laughs> hallway baby. This baby's not going to be a hallway baby. But you know what? We're going to have to unlock her door if we keep the baby in here. Because I would like for like Mary Sue and Daniel to be able to help out with the baby if we need to. <laughs> Mary Sue Pleasant is now ill, which basically means nothing. Is she awake down there? No, she's still asleep. Okay, so it's Sunday. So we have just like less than one day until the baby's due, y'all. So when Mary Sue wakes up, Brandy Broke and Don Lothario continue to be inseparable. That just, that's just really something, isn't it? Okay, it's fall. We have seven days until winter. Overwrite. Yes, I would like to overwrite. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look into that, Fernanda. I'm gonna look into that. Into getting Victor. Yeah, they somebody did make a clean version, Joe. I've been using it and it has become one of my must-have mods. I, it, the, I really like the attraction system, and I even like the menstrual cycle system in it. Uh, it's called Wonderful Whims, if anybody's wondering. And I would definitely recommend it. I'm going to make a video about it soon. Um, and I'm going to... Well, never mind. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do. It's a surprise. <laughs> Vector is a, an illness mod for The Sims 3, so it makes the illness, like actually have consequences because right now it's basically nothing happens when your sim gets ill okay let's go have mary sue i'm gonna have her eat um some pb and j for breakfast that's a healthy breakfast right peanut butter is good for you i think <laughs> and then i don't know what we're gonna do with her she doesn't work until monday i'm just gonna let her putter around the house and do whatever she wants i guess darren wrote another book Seriously, we're going to get over there. He's going to have like 50 paintings in, in his inventory. He's going to be getting like 5,000 simoleons from royalties. She wants to get a flu shot. So I think I'm going to send her out to the uh, hospital to get a flu shot. Use a medieval period mod. Like period as in menstrual cycle? <laughs> 
The addition that allows making medicine in the nectar making. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so let's have her go down to the hospital. Go get your flu shot. 200 simoleons? Dang, that's an expensive flu shot. Mine costs like $10. <laughs> That is expensive. They must not have any insurance. And that they, they must live in the US without insurance. <laughs> that stuff's expensive. I didn't I've never used one in The Sims 2, but I actually I tried out one before in The Sims 4 and I didn't like it, but this one I like. Um, okay, Daniel, go get yourself something to eat and you need to work out today. Does he have to work today? Wait, what day is it? Why, what do the purple days mean? Y'all? Okay, he does have to work today. I don't know what the purple days mean. <sighs> Let's eat some PB&J for breakfast. Let's check on Angela. She's still sleeping away. I'm gonna let her sleep in. She needs her rest. <laughs> Cloth and moss. <laughs> oh no, Joe. <laughs> No, I mean, that's, no, that's not what I'm talking about, guys. Li the the day that's circled is the holiday. I'm talking about, su see how Sunday and Wednesday are in purple? Oh, game days. Oh, okay. Thank you, Sunset. Thank you. Mary Sue has been immunized. That's good to know. Thank you for that. Mary Sue has been immunized. She's feeling good. Is there anything she needs to do while she's out? I think I'm going to send her back to the grocery store to get a few more groceries. I think they need to get a couple more things. Like, they sh they need that, that marshmallow, y'all. It's just been weighing heavy on my mind. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Akai. Okay, so we got to get that marshmallow. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do with that. But I want it. Um, so what else could we get? I thought we had. Let's see. Let's get some more mac and cheese fixins. That's what we say in the South. We say fixins. Fixins are ingredients for a dish. <laughs> okay, and cheesy spring salad. Okay, it's not spring though, so you can't have spring salad. I put my foot down. What is, what is souvlaki? What is that? You guys got to tell me what that is. So, souvlaki? And what is spinacopita? <laughs> I don't know how to say that. I don't know what those are. Are those Greek foods? Hot baked potatoes. Yes, please. I'll take those. We'll take some greens and herb sauce too. There we go. 29 simoleons. Okay, let's go ahead and head home. And I'm going to go back over here and check on Daniel. It's a meat. It's how you cook the meat. Oh. Hmm. I like Greek food. I just don't really know that much Greek food. I know that I like falafel. And I know that I like stuffed grape leaves. <laughs> okay, Daniel, whenever you get done, we can go get pumped, train someone. Oh, let's train. Can we train Angela? Let's train Angela after breakfast. Oh, we gotta wake her up though. Never mind, she's not ready. She's not ready. She's not ready for that. We'll train her later. Um, in the meantime, why don't you just go pump some iron? And then let's check on Mary Sue. That I'm really, I don't think their relationship is gonna be repaired enough, guys. I'm really worried about it. I mean, it's in the red right now. I think that they're gonna get divorced and I don't think we're gonna get another pleasant ba baby. I really don't. You have three Greek restaurants in your town? Wow. I don't think we have one in my town right now. I really don't. It reminds you of my big fat Greek wedding. <laughs> we used to have, we had a Greek restaurant in my, um, in my hometown. And that's where I found out about the stuffed grape leaves and falafel. <laughs> I love both of those. Those are really the only Greek foods that I know though. Unpleasant parents can't make a pleasant baby. Well, that's true. <laughs> it's like a Greek wrap with meat, veggies, and sauce. Mmm. Sounds good. Okay, wait. Why did we just lose money? What was that for? 
What does she want to do? Eat goopy carbonara at the park? That, I hate that one. That's a dumb one. <laughs> they could make an unpleasant baby. Only they won't woohoo now. Unfortunately. I do too. I want Greek food too. <laughs> okay, Angela. It's I'm going to let her sleep a little bit longer. Then we're going to wake her up. We're going to have Daniel train her. Local klepto Dustin broke. Maybe linked to a recent disappearance at Mortimer God's home. Apparently, an, an old school lighting went missing and mysteriously reappeared at a local market and unfortunately cost some 99 simoleons to retrieve it. Oh, Dustin, you little scamp. <laughs> you eat them. You eat stuffed grape leaves hot? I've only ever had them cold. I like them cold. I don't know why in the park. I don't know why in the park. I hate that park one. I saw that horse back there. Okay, I'm, I'm going to wake her up at 10. Let's let her sleep for like 30 more minutes. Oh, there went a horse. Man, The Sims 3, you got to admit, it's really pretty. I mean, if you don't look at The Sims, I mean. <laughs> Just, I'm talking about like the world is very pretty. Okay, she so she's getting... Oh, she just got up on her own, I think. She's going to the bathroom. Look, she's getting bigger. She's getting bigger. She's almost there. She's like six months pregnant right now. Your daughter prefers The Sims 3 for the horses. Yeah. I almost never play with the horses. I need to play with them more. Maybe we'll make... Um, oh, no. Never mind. That Sim doesn't exist. Maybe the Burbs will have another horse girl. <laughs> she's going to calm... Oh, look. She's going to calm down her mom. Aww. She's going to go calm down Mary Sue. Maybe about the betrayal? That's so sweet. Let's let her do it. Here we go. Calm down, Mom. It's okay. Oh, Lord. Calm down. Calm down. All right. That worked. That worked. <laughs> and now she's, I don't know, talking about charisma or something. I don't care about that. Okay, so she's going to go get some food now. Um, leftover mac and cheese. All right. We have got, I don't know, like 18 hours or something till the baby's due. Due to her unpopular nature, Ivy Kapoor and Dustin Broke have been drifting apart lately. Okay, Mary Sue. Just you keep on with your life. I'm going to have her go watch the cooking channel so she can learn the cooking skill. <laughs> she needs something, all right. <laughs> hey, Sims 3 Gamer. Um, I haven't found any mods that make them look decent. Partnered Sims, Dina Caliente. Oh! Dina's prego! Dina's pregnant! Dina's pregnant! By Mortimer! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> yes, apparently the fates have different ideas. Congratulations to the soon-to-be parents. All right, so we're going to be playing Dina next. Dina's wearing glasses. I guess she needed to get glasses as she got older. I don't know. Um, yes, but we have another pregnancy on the way. So after uh, Angela gives birth, we're going to be heading over to Dina's. So I got to write this down, y'all, because I got to remember who we're playing next. So I'm going to write down Dina next. Prego with Mortimer's baby. Mortimer baby. All right. Got our next pregnancy. Nina got given glasses because of dresser for you. Yeah, it was Dina for me this time. They were very obsessed with the name Ivy Cooper. There's like three Ivy Coopers. We're on the letter G for Lilith's baby. Yes, the letter G as in Gregante. <laughs> Gregnet. <laughs> and, th and the Trista Shaws too. Yes, you're right about that. Okay, Mary Sue, what was I going to have you do? Oh, you need to be watching the cooking channel. Change to cooking cable. Man, Angela is obsessed with dancing, I swear. Okay, it's time for you to get trained. Daniel, train her. Okay, let's sit. Daniel, you need to go to the bathroom first, and then you can train Angela. I really hate how this bathroom is. I hate how it be. <laughs> Yeah, there's two Marilena Hamiltons, too. Two or three Marilena Hamiltons. Wait, let me double check. I always double check this because one time I missed a pregnancy. So I always double check my, my summary now. 
Okay, we got a mooch. We got um, friends. Unpopular, unexpected pregnancy. All right. I knew all about that. Okay, so Daniel, why don't you come and train Angela? And they're going to talk about the fog first. Okay. Oh, thank you so much for the two months, Chunky Milk. <laughs> she's afraid she's getting fat, so that's why she dances all the time. Yeah, that's probably so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's so many with the same name. There's like Nina Caliente has been training Jennifer. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Um anyway, some before we found out about Dina's pregnancy, somebody was asking me about mods to make the Sims look good. There are mods to improve their appearance, but to make them look good? Uh, no. <laughs> Thank you so much for the prime sub, Angie Lady. So as you can see here, like my Sims look better because I'm using different skins and eyes. Okay, well that's not a good look, Angela. That's not a good look. But they, there's just no way to get rid of that overall Sims 3 look to them that I've been able to find. Now you can do like a HD mod, um, but I don't like to play with those on all the time because I, I find it makes it laggy even on my really good computer. So I would only use that probably for pictures and I just let my sims look like this because they're still really fun to play. Okay, Dawn is training people. <laughs> the sims 3 are your, are totally beautiful and unique to you. Well, I'm glad that you that you feel that way. I I don't mind them when they look like right now I don't think it looks too bad. It's when they get outside, and I'm also using a lighting mod too, which helps a lot. Um, but I have to be honest with you, I don't care for the way everything's shiny like plastic. I don't like their, their clothes look like it, everything looks like it's made out of vinyl, and that really bothers me a lot. And then when they're outside, and they, they just look so harsh in the outside light, and I haven't found any way to fix that. But to me, it's not a deal breaker. I don't think they're like so hideously ugly. I can't look at them or anything. They're just not as pretty as they are in The Sims 2 or The Sims 4. In my opinion. Some people prefer The Sims 3 Sims, so. Yeah. yeah, it's the specular on the clothes. Now, I have a mod that removes it on some of the clothes. And then there's also a mod that you can go in and like individually take it off the clothes. But like, I'm just not going to do that, so... <laughs> yeah i have some fixes um i have some fixes that I'll, it fixes a lot of the base game clothing but i'm not gonna do the one where you have to go in and manually do it on all the clothes like i just don't have the patience for that yeah that's the one i'm talking about fernanda they sure make a lovely couple brandy broke and don lothario continue to be inseparable if you if you want to do it you can but i'm not <laughs> congratulations angela has just improved her athletic skill to level two good for you angela all right you're good to go then she wants to point oh daniel wants to point out mary sue's flaws y'all thank you for the follow katie he wants to point out mary sue's flaws and he wants to visit Egypt. I'll lock it in, although they don't have enough money right now. Okay, stop training and go point out her flaws. <laughs> oh my god, that is mean. Yeah, you can make them look really good in Create a Sim. Now, if, you, if your Sims are looking really bad out in the world and gameplay, you probably need to get a better lighting mod. I have a good one that helps a lot, but sometimes in the bright sunlight, there's like nothing you can do. <laughs> Okay, so let's go to me. It's probably under mean. Where is it? Oh, mean. I don't see point out flaws. Where would that be? Special? No. Friendly? I don't think it's friendly. I don't think that's friendly. I can't find it, guys. He can't point out flaws. Wait, let me let me look at that again. Some Sims like to be truly nasty towards their neighbors with a few insulting comments. Your Sim wants to point out someone's flaws. Okay, well, he wants to ruin his marriage even more. I wanted to let him do it, but 
I just have accused of being a diva, accused of being a workaholic, argue, break up, insult, and mock ambition. I don't know. No, I think Heckle was just like its own thing. It's just its own thing. It doesn't have a sub menu. So I don't know. Maybe he has to do something else. Let's have him. Let's have him argue. Yeah, maybe their their relationship's not low enough. Let's try to argue a little bit and see. I hate to make them argue, but this is what he wants. I think they're gonna end up getting a divorce. I really do. Yeah, let's we'll do an argue. Yeah, I think it's really funny. Well, not funny, but interesting the way Angela has constantly danced and worked out. Oh, yeah, we probably have to get him. So now he's being impolite. And now he's being now he's being insulting. Let's see if we can do it. No, nope, not yet. Not yet. Okay. And now he's telling her inside joke. She didn't like that. Oh, oh, okay. She just slapped him. <laughs> she just slapped him. Um, okay, she's angry. Let's see if he can do it now. Mean. No. No. Um, he still can't do it. That's really weird. Declare Mary Sue a nemesis. Slap, yell at, fight. There's nothing under mean. I don't know, guys. This is weird. I feel like there should be an interaction that's like point out, point out flaws. Okay, let's see. She's very angry. Let's see if he can do it now. Express humiliation is here. You look upset, worry about relationship. Nope. No, no, no. I don't I, I mean how mad does he have to be? How mad does she have to be? It's just for perfectionist sins? He doesn't have he's not I don't think he's a perfectionist. Let's see. They're special. We have flirty, hydrophobic and athletic. Those are all all he has. Um so it's not under any of those. So maybe yeah, maybe he can't do that. I don't know. Well, he doesn't have perfectionist, so he can't, I guess he can't do it. That's weird that he would get the want for it. So he just basically ruined his marriage for nothing. <laughs> no, he's not a snob. His wants are brave, flirty, hydrophobic, athletic, and lucky. I tried. I tried. <laughs> so I'm just going to get rid of that one since he can't do it. He probably caused about the same amount of damage as he would if he did, if he did it. Um, and we gotta check on Angela. She's over here just, stop working out. Go take a bath. Take care of yourself for God's sake. Um, what does she wanna do? Oh, buy a high chair, aw. You guys hardly have any money left though. Daniel has a game in one hour. He needs to get to the stadium quickly. All right, Daniel, go, go to your game. Have fun. Get out some of that aggression from your failing marriage. He hasn't seen Kaylin either. He hasn't seen, he wants to flirt too. Maybe we should get Kaylin over here the next time uh, Mary Sue's away. Kazi! High chairs are only 60. Yeah. He wants to have five friends too. Let's see. Let's see how much the high chairs are. Um, oh man, that's cheap as heck. Only 60 simoleons? All right, let's get one. We'll put it right back here. Okay. I don't like how that's poking out. Hold on. I wonder if we could turn it like that. No, that looks ridiculous. Let's put it over here. I don't like how it doesn't go like against the wall. That's really... Um, I forgot the move objects. Is it just move objects on? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, she's saying break a leg. <laughs> Break a leg, Daniel. Oh, she's gonna do some yard work. Okay, that's good. That's good. Oh, she wants to become friends with Angela. Okay, that's way better than buying a firecracker. Let's have her spend some time with Angela uh, once Angela gets out of the bathtub. I like that she wants to work on her relationship with her daughter. And she also wants to play in a leaf pile. <laughs> 
okay, God, they're taking forever. And I just realized that Kaylin is not coming to the house. She should be coming to the house as a maid. I think we're going to have to hire her. Um, and I may need to fix that in the save file if, if it's not working. So I'm going to have her come over here and call service. Um, I know that Kaylin will be the maid that shows up for this lot, but she's not currently hired. Yeah, she's she's not doing good. She's upset. She's betrayed. Things are not going well for her. <laughs> okay, so let's hire a maid. Oh, 125 a day. That's not right. Um, it should be like 50 a day. I don't I think I have something conflicting because my price changes are not working. Um, okay, so the maid's gonna come over soon. And she's gonna go play in a leaf pile? No, dispose. But what I want you to do is come spend some time with your daughter. So come up here and talk to her. Socialize. That'll be good. Yeah, there are landlines in The Sims 3. Mm -hmm. I like them. When I'm playing The Sims 4, I'm always looking for the phone. And I'm like, oh yeah, they don't have phones in The Sims 4. They don't have landlines in The Sims 4. I wish they did because some people still have landlines. Dang it. Look at all those clothes in the hallway. Hmm. Aw, she's rubbing her belly. Choo -choo. So they're going to do some friendly interactions. They're gossiping. I don't know who they're gossiping about. Did you know that Cassandra Goth is filthy rich? I would never have guessed. Really? You never would have guessed that Cassandra was filthy rich? <laughs> you haven't used your landline for seven years? We, I haven't had a landline in years and years. I miss the newspapers too, even though I hardly ever use them. <laughs> you, you guys still have a landline? I don't. I ha we haven't had one in a long, long time. I don't even remember the last time I had a landline. It's been many years. She's small talk. So you're boring your mother, Angela. Be more entertaining. Oh, look. She's li she's talking to the belly. Oh my god, that's so cute. That's your grandchild in there. So here's Kaylin. Kaylin's here to clean the house. That's just gonna add some more drama. Um, let's see, does Mary Sue hate Kaylin? Yeah, she doesn't like, well, she doesn't hate her, but she doesn't have any like for her. Phone books, oh my god. They still give out phone books in my neighborhood. We still get a phone book every year, and I'm just like, why are you giving me this garbage? I don't need this. This this should not exist. It's just a waste of paper. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny, Marie. It was a political survey. Yeah, that's probably the only thing that would call me. Have you heard about poor Cassandra Goth being burgled? No? Oh, from Dustin. Oh, that's right. Dustin burgled her. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it goes straight in the recycling bin. Exactly. I don't need that. I don't know why they keep giving us one. I don't request this. I don't want this. I wish I could opt out. But they just put them on everybody's porch in the neighborhood. Google is greater than the phone book. Yes. Okay, so I'm just waiting on these two to become friends. She wants to become good friends with someone. Aww. So I'm going to speed this up. They're just hanging out in the bathroom. Just a mom and her daughter hanging out in the bathroom. Oh, she's talking to the belly again. <laughs> That's so cute. We're ready for that baby to come out, Lilith. We're ready. We're ready. The good news is there will already be like a day or so will have passed um, by the time we get over to Dina. So we won't have to wait as long once we get over there for Dina's baby to be born. And then I don't know if she's going to want to get married to Mortimer or move in with him or like what's going to happen over there. We're just going to have to see what she wants to do. Daniel's team lost the game. A final score home six away 13. Daniel's not on his game, y'all. He's not doing his best. Are they not friends yet? Jeez. It takes a lot longer to become friends in The Sims 3 than it does in The Sims 2. Have you guys noticed that? At least it feels like it to me. It feels like it takes a lot longer. And I always try to save up everybody's points so that I can get them the reward. Oh my god, Mary Sue has not had a good life. She only has 1,200 lifetime rewards. 
I try to give everybody the long distance friend for 20,000 because then you don't have to maintain your friendships. They just stay the same. That's my favorite reward perk. Lilla, yes, Lilla still lives in the Dreamer household, and she's raising her baby over there. And I can't wait till he ages to a toddler so we can get kind of start to see what he's going to look like. Okay, they just became friends. Yay! They just became friends, and you know what? Um, Angela needs to go, Mary Sue. Thank you for the, thank you for the bathroom conversation. But now she's got to use the bathroom. Let's see. Who do you want to text? Learn social networking skill. All right, we can work on that. And Daniel, Daniel, what are you doing? Oh my God. Oh geez. He's down here talking to Kaylin. I hope things don't get romantic. <laughs> Bye Trish, thank you for stopping by. Sorry I didn't see your message earlier. <laughs> the sims 3 rewards do more than the sims 4 yeah i think so too i think so too use a mod so the relationships don't decay in sims 2 it's possible i have that mod <laughs> i'm not 100 percent sure they do not know about Lil well they do know about lilith's child because they meet all of their children at uh they meet all of the family at birth so yeah they know about little eric right here but they don't really have a relationship with the family uh, lilith and eric don't really have a relationship with the family at all eat peanut butter and jelly okay so i don't know if that's gonna continue in the future or what wow lilith that's i mean angela i called her lilith <laughs> wow angela daniel wants a divorce well, I think he does, actually. He wants to flirt, too. I think we'll have him flirt with Kaylin. I should have had him flirt with her while they were out there. We'll do she's still cleaning the house. Okay, she's done. Oh, no, Daniel, you better get over here and flirt. You're, using, you're losing your chance. You're losing your chance. Nope, he can't. He can't right now. Oh, well. She'll come back tomorrow. We'll try again. We'll try again. Okay, so we're almost there, y'all. We just have, like, eight hours or something until the baby comes. I'm excited. I'm excited. Go eat. Go take care of yourself. And then she wants to buy a stuffed animal. Aw, okay, let's buy a stuffed animal. I'm just spending all their all the family's money on baby stuff. <laughs> like, I don't care. Um, Scary Bear. Oops, I guess I better save. Scary Bear Genie. I gotta figure out what stuffed animal to buy for the baby. Yeah, she can be a little brat. That's true. But I like her. <laughs> I like all my Sims, though. I even like Daniel. I even like Daniel and his horrible horn dog cheating ways. Um, Let's see. I'm just gonna buy Wugglesworth Schmuggles. Wugglesworth Schnuggles Bear. That's what I'm going to buy. And we're going to put that up in Angela's room. I'll just put it here. Okay, you got yourself a stuffed animal. And then she's going to work on her social networking after she eats. She's getting quite, quite large there. Use your sim points for fertility treatment for 10,000. I don't want any fertility treatments. Well, maybe I would. Like, if a sim was getting older and having a difficult time, I might do a fertility treatment. Maybe I will do that in The Sims 3. Like, if they try for baby three times, instead of having them adopt, I'll let them do a fertility treatment first. That's a good idea. Or maybe a fertility treatment after two, and then if they don't get pregnant after the fertili fertility treatment, then adopt. I like that idea. I like Lilith the best, though, yeah. <laughs> I like Lilith the best. <laughs> Your least favorite is Nina? I always, I love Nina. She's one of my favorites. I like her because she gives me all those babies. <laughs> and I just, I think it's fun to play a romance sim. Um, okay, Darren's painting more. We know, we know. All right, Mary Sue, what are you up to? Is it time for you to go to bed yet? 
go to the bathroom. What does she want to do? Do laundry. Oh my God, what happened up here? Jeez. Oh my God. Uh, okay, get up here and clean this up. I'm afraid that Angela will slip and fall. Dang it. I do not want triplets. Oh my God. I like Nina better than Dina, but I still like Dina. I still like Dina. Lilith, I like Lilith, Cassandra, and Nina are probably my favorite Sims in Pleasant View. But I like all of them for different reasons. If I had to pick my least favorite, it would probably be Darren just because I find him boring. <laughs> no, 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 that's not true. That's not true. My least favorite are the oldies. I forgot they even existed. <laughs> okay, what are you doing? Talking to your dad? He's talking to her dad. Oh, she's telling him a funny story. John Lothario is playing chess with John Burb. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, I love Brandy too. I love Brandy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you had triplets. Oh God. I just. I never want to have triplets. I hope I never have triplets because they can have them in The Sims Three. Oh, that was weird. His hand just went into the belly. Okay. He's coming around to the thought of having his grandchild, though. He's coming around to it. I did. I blocked the oldies out of my mind. I forgot they even exist. Yeah, Darren's boring, then he gets old. And then he's still boring. <laughs> but I like him in The Sims 3 because I don't really have to play him that much. And he just stays over there and paints and writes and makes a freaking fortune. <laughs> I like John and Jennifer Burb. Um, I like the whole Burb family. I know. Yeah, Angela is the golden child. That is true. Although, honestly, they didn't really have much of a relationship with her either. So I'm going to have her go to bed. She needs to go to bed now. She's got to get her rest because she's having a baby in the morning. And then Daniel, um, what can we do with you? Go take a bath. And then you can go to sleep too, actually, because it's like, it's getting late. We'll have him go sleep here. And Mary Sue, what are you doing? Don't, whatever you're doing, stop it. Um, Let's see, she wanted to do laundry. I don't think we can do anything right now. Brandy Broke is such a softy when it comes to down and out Sims. I threw Dina Caliente seven simoleons. <laughs> Dina is still over there begging Brandy for money, y'all. She's still over there, and, D and Brandy's like, I got seven bugs. <laughs> That's so sad. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Yes, I love the frost in the windows, too. I love that. Um, If you're, if you're like, inside the house, it looks really cool. No, go in. I wanted to see. I want to see the ceiling in the frost. Yeah. Isn't that neat? That was a very nice touch. I like that. I don't like that wood pattern on those windows, though. I might change that. You can't see it unless you get really up close to it. Th there's so many little details in The Sims 2 and The Sims 3 um, that are really good like that. What she want to do? Get a Bone Hilda? She wants to get a Bone Hilda. You can't afford a Bone Hilda. You're blowing all your money on baby stuff and books. <laughs> Jared Frio, payment of two simoleons of child support. Yes. Dina's unroutable. Who's getting a phone call? I don't know, but oh well. And there's a stray cat. Travel to Egypt. No, we cannot do that right now. We don't have enough money. We can't travel to Egypt. We got 877 simoleons and an illegitimate grandchild on the way. Okay, Darren's painting. Darren's writing. Um, Don was unable to pay his bills. Don could not pay his bills. Oh, Don. Okay, so we got nothing really, nothing really exciting there it's happening. Oh my God, the baby's coming. Wait, 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 what? What? The baby's coming, y'all. <laughs> yes, I was sitting here just reading those messages and the baby is on the way. Okay, Mary Sue. You gotta get up. You gotta get up and take Angela to the hospital. Oh my God. Get up everybody. The baby's coming. <laughs> it's baby time. Baby is formed. 
Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, your dream of becoming a musician. Okay, Darren paid his tax debt. Brandy and Dawn are together. Dreamers. Okay, whatever. Aw, I just missed Mortimer Goth and needed to be with my little lovey-dovey right that minute, sighed Dina Caliente. Let's go, guys. Let's go. The baby's coming. Just, you're just taking your sweet, precious time, aren't you, Mary Sue? We got a baby on the way. Let's go. Was there somebody on the sidewalk out there? That was creepy. <laughs> yes, an autumn baby. Yes. I'm hoping for a girl, but uh, Lil uh, Lilith. Angela wants a boy, but I'm hoping for a girl. Oh, look, Mary Sue's just crying about being betrayed. I guess this whole thing made her realize, like, that her family kind of fell apart. And she just got really upset outside the hospital. Oh, oh look, here comes Dustin. Dustin's on his way, too. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm going to be pulling up the baby name database here. And getting that ready to go so we can choose a name as soon as the baby's born. I hope it works okay, y'all. I don't think Nikki's here to save us if it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, she's going through it. She's going through it. Yeah, I like this part too. I like the I like this uh, going to the hospital and everything. Although I really do like the Sims 4 where you can go in the hospital and see the baby be born. I like that. I like that. I wish they did that for more things. It's a girl! Pregnancy has its ups and downs, but Angela managed to make the best of it. The baby was born with athletic and clumsy traits. Wow, what a combo. <laughs> okay, here we go. Letter G. So I'm going to pull up the generator here. We're going to go a girl name for the letter G. Please work. Please work. Yes, Georgia. Georgia. Oh, my God, Steph. <laughs> yes, it's Georgia. I can't believe you. you just said that and I looked over there. <laughs> yes, little baby Georgia. Not Gelba. Not Gelba. Okay, so we're going to name her Georgia Pleasant. <laughs> Georgia. Our generator works perfectly. Okay, so she's going to take the baby home. Daniel and Mary Sue just became um, grandparents for the first time. See, Angela was jealous that Lilith made... Not for the first time, for the second time, I mean. Um, no, never. Okay. Come on, Dustin. Anyway, what I was saying is Angela was jealous of Lilith having the first grandchild, so she had to have one, too. <laughs> Sorry, no Gelba. I wouldn't name the kid Gelba anyways. I hate to tell you. I hope you don't waste your submission on that. <laughs> we got Falcon, we got Georgia, and we've got Eric. Eric, Falcon, and Georgia. <laughs> Those are our babies so far. Oh my God, Brandy, get over it. Get over it. So I want to see the baby when they get inside. Okay, let's see what she looks like. Oh, she's blonde like Dustin. She's got Dustin's blonde hair. See what I mean about the eyes? I think all the baby's eyes look like this brown color. Uh, because neither of them has brown eyes. I don't think this kid is going to have brown eyes. But maybe they could, I guess. Baby, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But I feel like all the baby's eyes look the same. Thank you for the follow, friend sheep. Okay, yeah, so... <laughs> We got a little baby girl, a little blonde baby girl named Georgia. Georgia. I know Eric is so basic compared to the other ones. <laughs> so our next letter, which is going to be for Dina's baby, is going to be I. I. And then after that, I think we will be on K. We don't have anybody named K, right? Anybody with a K name, do we? I don't think so. Nope, I think it's I and then K is going to be the next ones. Angela gives you fish lip vibes? She doesn't to me. Thank you for the follow. Yes. <laughs> oh, let me let me give you guys full screen again. Kaylin's not playable, so she does not count right now. Okay, Angela's going to put the baby. Um, I'm going to unlock her door now. Even though I know everybody's going to be in here harassing the computer. I'm, I might move the computer out of her room. 
But let's go ahead and unlock this so that Dustin can come up and see the baby. I'm going to have her call Dustin over. Let's see. Oh, you have to click on Dustin, not on her. Oh, my God, y'all. She wants to get married. <gasps> she wants to get married to Dustin. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so I guess let's have her propose to Dustin. If she can, she might not be. I don't remember if our teens could propose. Hold on. Let's call him up here. Call him up here. Can we not call him over? Is that just Sims 2 that you can call over? Can you not do that? Okay, well, she's trying to go to sleep. No, wake up. Come down here and... We can't propose. <laughs> she's going to propose as soon, as soon as she's a young adult. As soon as she's a young adult. Okay, so let's... I'm at least going to have... I want to do something. I want to do something. Throw a house party. No. Okay, let's go and just give him a hug. Okay? Just give him a hug, please. Dustin is now the father of a new baby girl. Angela just gave birth to a baby girl named Georgia. Oh, that's true. You do have to get to Irresistible. That's right. Um, okay, let's have them flirt a little bit and see if she can. Where did he go? Don't go in Mary Sue's room. Why do they always go in here? This is so creepy. Don't go in here and start making out in front of your sleeping mother's bed. Why would you do that? <laughs> let's do some romantic um, interactions. Let's see. Um, flirt. This is so weird. This is so weird. Kiss. Um, hold hands. Let's see. Shy kiss. Do all the different kisses. Okay, Nina fixed Dawn's toilet. That's romantic. I know, let's get down and dirty right in front of my mother. <laughs> yep, it's a girl. It's a girl. Oh, and the, she needs, the baby needs us too. And we're just down here. He's very alluring now. Oh, she wants to make out with him. Okay. Um, sorry, hold on, baby. We're coming. We're coming, baby. Hold on. We'll be there in a moment. We got to make out first. <laughs> the baby can wait. That's right. We got something. We got something important to do here. Okay, they did a make out. Oh, extremely irresistible. Now let's see if she can propose. Is it going to be under propose? Oh, oh, propose marriage. Oh, they can. They can. Okay, hold on. We're doing it. We're locking it down. <laughs> These two are going to get married. And then we got to go take care of the baby. Would you marry me, Dustin? Our screaming baby is upstairs in my room. Aw, he said yes. <laughs> Shotgun wedding. <laughs> Aw. Okay, this is so weird that they're doing this in Mary Sue's room, but you know... Oh my god, now she wants to marry Dustin. She wants to get married and marry Dustin. Okay, so they're not going to get married right now, but they are engaged to be married, and we're going to have to prevent them from getting married when we move to another house, uh, or they'll get married without us, and we don't want that to happen. So let's go give Bottle, change diaper, and snuggle the baby. Get married in the bedroom. <laughs> They're not ready to get married yet because they don't have any kind of income. I'm going to wait until they're adults to, before they get married, I think. Let's see. We have 14 days, which will go by pretty quickly because we're going to be playing other houses. But I don't think they're in a good place to get married right now. <laughs> but they are engaged. Aww. Little baby. Right now, if they stay, if Angela stays here right now, then Mary Sue and Daniel can help financially um, and all of the other ways that she's going to need help with the baby. So I think I'm going to have her stay here for now. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a change so that she cannot get pregnant if we're not playing her. Or not pregnant, but married if we're not playing her. Because the game will push them to get married when we move on to another household. And we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to go to story progression, sim options. And I'm going to change um, 
romance. Romance allow. Okay, allow marriage is false. So I think that might be what we need. Arranged marriage sim, disallow partner cast. I think it's already set. I think allow marriage false is what we need. So it looks like they're not. Hopefully they don't get married without us. <laughs> okay, so she's going to just give her a snug, put her down. We're going to get this family through the day. And then we're going to go play Dina and see what Dina wants to do. And Dina should be like probably a day. No, she probably is like just now finding out she's pregnant. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Oh, yeah. You missed the titty bear. <laughs> um, they. I think they can get married with mods. But anyway, I'm not going to have them get married. Uh, because I don't think they're ready yet. They want to get married, and that's fine. But we have to wait till they can actually, like, have a marriage and a place to live and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to save here. This is a good time to switch. Also, Daniel and Barry Sue, I'm pretty sure, are going to be getting divorced in like three days. So that's going to be something. Then there are going to be two singles on the market. God, knowing our luck, Dawn and Mary Sue will get together. They can still get engaged, yes, Fernanda. I allow my Sims to get engaged without me. But I don't want them to get married without me. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. G Guto, I don't, I know I'm probably not saying your name right, but thank you for stopping by. Okay, yeah, we have a Brandon Lillard stuck out here. We have a Brandon Lillard. Brandon Lillard, you're stuck. Let's, can we reset him? Let's reset him. Get him off of our sidewalk. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you, Brandon. Being creepy. And then I'm going to go to Dina. Over to Dina's place. Dina and Nina still both live here, which is crazy. They both still live in here. We're going to change to active. And the active household contains a sim who is a mo the town mooch. Okay, that's cool. Career doctors now have additional opportunities. Oh, somebody's a doctor in this house. Hold on. So first of all, I need to put this family into my rotations cast. So I'm going to do that real quick. Oh, no. Dang it. I didn't do it. Cast. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Manual. And put you in rotations. I should have had, I just realized I should have had music playing this whole time. We've just been like, it's been so quiet because I have the Sims 3 music turned off. Hold on, I'll play some music really quick. Even though there's like 30 minutes left in the stream, it just occurred to me. <laughs> where are my, where's my music folder? I don't know where anything is. There it is. And let's play. Play with Windows Media. There we go. That ought to, that's better. Just have a little little background music going on, so it's not so quiet. Since I can't play The Sims 3 music because it gives me copyright issues. Okay, so here's Dina, and let's check out everything that's going on. Okay, she got betrayed. She got betrayed. Who did she get betrayed by? Dawn. It must be Dawn. Yeah, it's Dawn. So she found out that Dawn was two timing her. And she is, like, a very best friend with Brandy. And, of course, Mortimer is her boyfriend right now. And then let me see what she wants to do. Let's check her career. She is an organ donor. She makes five simoleons an hour. All right, Dina. I mean, if that's what you want to do. <laughs> and then Nina here. Uh, Nina is with Dawn. And, okay, they did break up. You guys were right. Uh, Darren and Nina did break up. That is her ex-boyfriend. So that means Darren is just single over there by himself right now. He has nobody. And, yeah, Dawn is her romantic interest right now. And then she's friends with her sister. Mortimer's her boss. So she must work in the athletic career. 
Let's see. Yep, she's a snack hawker in the athletic career, which I'm going to let her stay in the athletic career. And for Dina, I don't know if I'm going to let her stay in that career. We'll see what she wants to do. Send a text to Brandy Letourneau. Invite a sim over. Okay, and then where are you? So, yeah, it doesn't look like she's found out she's pregnant yet. What are you wearing, Dina? Why are you wearing those fingerless gloves? <laughs> So it looks like Dresser gave her some accessories here. <laughs> and yeah, she's got glasses now, so I guess she needed glasses. I'm just going to let her keep them. That's what she wants to wear. So be it. I don't give a crap. <laughs> hey, SimCraft, I'm doing well. It's called fashion. Oh, my God. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, look, she wants to work in business. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Um, they also need some food. So first of all, Dina is going to head over to the grocery store and get some food. Um, let's see. She's going to shop for groceries. Then she's going to eat. Can she not eat? Oh, they're not open yet. Oh, my God. Okay, go get some groceries then at least. You can't eat at the bistro, but go get some groceries. I need to put a diner in town, like a 24-hour diner. I haven't put any extra lots in except for the park so far. I'm waiting until we need them and I'll just sort of like add as we go. Or I don't know, maybe someday I'll just put a whole bunch in. Wow, John, John got a new job in the medical career. Hmm, that's something. So yeah, it looks like, I don't think we're gonna get to Dina's pregnancy today y'all, but we'll, we'll go ahead and play her for the rest of the stream. And then next week, we'll be seeing Dina's baby born. And maybe we'll get lucky and get another pregnancy today, too. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Let's get some... Let's shop... Oh, my God. She knows no recipes. Crap. One marshmallow. <laughs> I know we can get some lettuce, apple... Um, Jeez, I don't know. Bread. Some long buns. <laughs> long, long buns. We'll get some regular buns. I don't know. No, I don't think we need the regular buns. Um, let's see here. Tomato. Grapes. I'm going to get a couple grapes. Let's get some peanut butter. Some cheese. Some cooking oil. How much money do they have? Oh, they have a ton of money. Dang, how'd they get 15,000 simoleons? What? They don't hurt. They don't make any money. How did they get 15,000 simoleons? <laughs> I don't know how to cook. Looks nervously at store shelves. Okay, one marshmallow. <laughs> I have to do it every time now. I have to do it every time. Um, we need some milk and some, we need some macaroni. Let's get some onions. Let's get some eggs, some bananas. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just buying random crap. Some hot dogs. Um, where is that? Where is that? Uh, let's get some chicken. Get some rice. <laughs> get some macaroni. That's what I wanted. Macaroni. Um, I'm just going to buy some of everything. Some cantaloupe. Some spaghetti. <laughs> let's get some yogurt. Uh, what else? Some Parmesan cheese. I don't know. Some hamburgers. Got some hamburger patties. I don't think anybody can cook those hamburger patties, but whatever. Okay, and then, oh, I wanna go back up and get some buns, some regular buns. Buns. And then let's get some donuts. She can have a donut for breakfast. All right. No apples, watermelons, and no hamsters. <laughs> All right, she, two marshmallows, are you insane? Have you lost your mind? <laughs> What kind of fat cat can afford two whole marshmallows? <laughs> okay, let's give her two. <laughs> She's sticking it to the man, getting two marshmallows. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna have her eat this donut right now. Where's that donut? Where's that donut? Eat one of these right now, Dina. You're hungry. <laughs> High class. <laughs> Oh, she went to town on that donut. Okay, that helped her hunger. And now she's going to go over to the business office and put in her application for the business career. Since it's just right next door. 
since that's what she wants to work in and that makes more sense for her i don't always pay attention to their job wants um for the pre-maids if they already have a job but for her she was working in the medical career which i do not see dina actually working in the medical careers i think she's much more suited to business okay coffee courier <coughs> seven simoleons an hour we're gonna accept that yeah she's gonna quit medical okay and let's see does she have to go to work today at 8 a.m in 20 minutes wait wait no one day in one hour okay she doesn't have to start today thank goodness she wants to have a party wow okay i guess we could have a party let's go ahead and go home eating a donut in the pouring rain <laughs> that is something she just joined the business career where'd you go oh she went out the back she went out the back oh look the park's all decorated for autumn it's so nice it looks so pretty in autumn i love the rain and everything this is nice oh it's lagging a little bit too much going on with the rain a Krispy Kreme burger I want to try one of those so bad I mean it sounds like the most unhealthy thing you could ever eat okay we need to stock the fridge um let's see stock with all ingredients and then I'm gonna have Nina go get herself a donut too let's get her a donut for breakfast N Dina's like I brought you a donut for for breakfast thank you sister <laughs> she wants to join the firefighter career no you're better off in the athletic learn guitar no that doesn't suit you either so that's one thing they just get these random wants in the sims 3 and i just ignore the ones that don't make sense for my sim okay what be scared dina dina you jerk dina just scared her God, you're such a jerk, Dina. Stop it. Okay, let's go serve some breakfast. One of you guys cook something. Go cook some PB and J. Gosh. Oh, sorry. I can't do I can't do radio station on Sims 3. <laughs> sorry. I can't play the Sims 3 music because I get copyright issues. So sorry. I'll try to remember it for when we play Sims 2. <laughs> <laughs> sorry guys sorry I, sh I need to turn that one off when i'm playing the sims 3 and i just don't think about it i'm sorry sing a song <laughs> i don't know any songs to sing nina the sexy firefighter what are you doing dina my god she's like really upset from being betrayed and also she's nauseous because she's pregnant but she doesn't know she's pregnant yet but we know but she doesn't know what i really want to do they actually have a lot of money guys we should spend a little bit of time remodeling the condo what do you guys think what do you guys think i think we should I think we should at least put in a second bathroom. I always put in a second bathroom down here because there's just so much wasted space on this bottom floor and they really could use a second bathroom, especially when we have another kid in the mix. All right, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Um, first of all, since we're not gonna see Dina's pregnancy tonight anyway, we might as well just spend our time doing this spending this money i have no idea where they got this money y'all i don't know where they got fifteen thousand simoleons when they were making like seven bucks an hour i don't know um but whatever i'm not gonna argue about it <laughs> i'm not gonna argue about it nina's only fans <laughs> okay so here's what i'm gonna do and this is what i always do to this condo and that's i just make a wall right here and i put a bathroom in here but we're gonna have to decide and i'm gonna sell that too that thing's hideous and i'm gonna i'm gonna have to decide on i usually do like a black and white color scheme Ooh, nice black walls okay and then we'll, let's find a flooring that we like i think yeah it was all that mooching she was mooching off everybody she had fifteen thousands. oh my god she had fifteen thousand simoleons over here and she mooched brandy's last 100 simoleons off her she that is dina you are just that's awful that's awful what she did to brandy so we're gonna i'm gonna do a black and white i actually don't know if i like the black wall i think i'm gonna do a white wall instead i think the black is just too much it's just too much 
Let's just do a white white wall. Oh, I don't like that either. <laughs> I don't like that either. Maybe I do like the black wall. Let's put a light in here and see how it looks. Let's put a light. Let's see. We're going to put a ceiling light in here. And I don't even have to cheap out either. Okay, that light barely does anything. What is this? What is this? The world's blackest black? My god. Black and white bathrooms remind you of the 90s, really? Well, I perpetually live in the 90s, so I'm okay with that. Okay, the black wall is too much, y'all. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much. I think I'm gonna recolor it to white or grayish. Ooh. Ooh, I kind of like that. I don't know. I don't know if I like it for this house. But I like that wall. I like that pattern. Um, but anyway, I don't think I like it for this. So let's let's try to find another wall covering. I mean, I don't like the texture on this. I, this is one of the things that bothers me about The Sims 3. I have the hardest time trying to find a wall covering that looks like normal. You know? You know what I'm saying? Like just a flat, basic wall. Why is it so hard to find that? I mean, that I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Yeah, I think the black was way too dark too. I agree with that. Um, and then, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of this window over here and this one, and I'm gonna add in some some of the little privacy windows. So let's see here, and I'm gonna do a black one so it matches. That's not black. I'll have to recolor it. And I'm gonna put one right here and right here maybe. And then actually let's recolor that. So I'm gonna just grab this and pull it over onto that. I love being able to recolor stuff. It's awesome. Okay, now I gotta recolor this one. And why is this why is this like this? You see that? Why is that like that? Okay, there we go. That's fixed. And then let's copy this. Let's delete this. And copy this over. There we go. All right. So now we got the basic the basic shape down. Let's get a door. Yeah, I can't believe that they had so much money. That's crazy. Let's get a door. We don't even have to get the cheap door either. I mean, we could actually like get something decent. There aren't a lot of decent doors though. I really need to look for some custom content doors because look at this, this is the selection. It's not that great, to be honest with you. It's not that great. What is this one? The Insta door, I guess will work. Um, but I'm, I think I'm gonna color it black though. I'm going, I'm gonna go for like a black and white type of theme, which is what I always do for Dina's condo. Come here, you. The doors are awful. I'm glad I'm not the only one who thinks so. Um, they're not, they're not good. No, it's the doors to the bedroom. Yeah, I accidentally forgot to put them back on. I'm sorry, if you downloaded this, this world, the doors to the bedrooms are not there because I accidentally forgot to put them back after I was doing the stairs. So you just have to, all you have to do is copy the ones here. And I thought I fixed that, but I obviously I did not fix it. Oh God. Oh, I have move on. I think I have to turn move objects off. Nope. I'm gonna fix this the next time I update the save file. Oh my God, it's so annoying. Cause I think what I had to do is completely remove the stairs, oops. So you can see what I'm gonna do here. I have to remove the stairs and then put the doors in and then put the stairs back. So it's kind of annoying and I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I did that, I'm sorry. So if you're having this issue, just remove the stairs and then put the doors on and then put the stairs back. And I promise, I thought I fixed this, but I guess I didn't. Um, but I will fix it the next time I update the save file, which God knows when that's going to be, but I'll do it eventually. Oh my God. And then getting this back on here. Jeez. Jeez. 
Okay, let me turn. Do I have move objects on? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> and then I can't put these here. And then I can't put this here. So how did I do this? How in the heck did I do this? I don't know how I did this before. I know I fixed this in my other in my other game. Um, I tried to place the doors first and it didn't work. So let me try. Let me try again. No, get. See, now I can't even place the stairs at all. Oh my god, what have I done here? Just undo, undo. <laughs> Just undo. Um, I don't know what I've done here, guys. I'm gonna. I I figured. Oh, there it goes. Never mind. Don't listen to my first thing I said. Here's the real way you do it. <laughs> Leave the stairs and just put the doors with move objects on. Um, but you have to like scoot them over from this side if they won't go, like I did. Like grab it and just like scoot it over like this. If you just try to pull it around here, it won't work. And then that drives me crazy. So we're gonna change that. We're gonna change that. I'm gonna make some changes. Make some changes here. We're gonna change that, okay. And yeah, like I said, I will fix that the next time I update the save file. But if you already have this and you're playing, you just have to put the doors in. I'm sorry that I left that out. I was doing some remodeling in there and I just forgot to put them back. Okay. So <laughs> next, um, we're going to, I'm going to have to move this around, but let's finish the bathroom. I at least want to get the bathroom finished. Oh no, I undid my recolor too. Okay. We've got to recolor this again real quick. No, go, go. There we go. And then I'm gonna put a little bathroom and I like to put a shower in here too, just so they can have like a second place to shower in the house. Where's plumbing? Oh, I'm already on it. I can't remember where anything is because I've been building in The Sims 4 and now I can't remember where anything is in here. Um, I think I'm gonna put you over here. And then let's do a toilet. I'm not even gonna do the cheapest toilet. I'm gonna do the next to the cheapest. She's moving up in the world. <laughs> yeah, I'll do something about the hallway uh, when we get up, when I get up there. It is very dark. Okay, so then I need a mirror. Let's see, I'm gonna change that to black. That's not black. Sometimes the woods look like black, but they're actually dark brown. I'm just gonna pull this wood over and recolor that. Thank you for the follow, Nelly. Okay, so that's the that's the beginning. Oh, actually, I don't even have to get the cheap sink either. What am I doing? I don't have to get the cheap sink. We got 15 grand. We don't need the cheap sink. Let's get the not cheap sink. What else we got here? Ooh. Oh, that's a laundry tub. Never mind. What do we have here? No, that looks too classical. How about this? Yes. Let's get that. And then can we move this up? I want this to look really modern. I don't think I can move this up. I think that's just gonna have to go like that. Oh well, it's it's not too far down. Oh, thank you for the follow, Ryoko. I don't see that you followed me, but I believe you, so thank you for the follow. <laughs> I do too. I miss being able to just do any color. It's really great. Okay, so let's do a, we gotta have a toilet paper roll. You gotta have a toilet. I had gotta have a toilet paper roll in every single one of my bathrooms. Come back here. Oh my god, would you go where I want you to go, you piece of crap? Go over here. Ah, it's just snapping everywhere. Don't stop it. Oh my god, I guess we're gonna have to put it on this wall. I hate it when it just starts snapping all over the place, except for the place that you want it to go. And then let's put a picture in. Let's see, what do we have for wall hangings? Something that looks nice and modern and black and white, I hope. Nope, not that. Oh, 
Oh God, I know. I love the search. I love the search in The Sims 4. Um, having to go through here manually is really a pain in the butt after you get used to that. I wish there was a search in The Sims 3 so much. Um, I like that, but that's going to be too big. I want something like really... God, I'm never going to find anything in here. What is this? Oh, that's kind of cool. I think. I, that doesn't match. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. I'm trying not to bore you guys with scrolling through all of my many, many paintings. I, you know what? I had a hard time. I was trying to look for some custom content paintings for The Sims 3, and it is really hard to find anything. And actually, the best stuff that I found was actually on The Sims resource. Do you guys have a hard time finding uh, custom content for The Sims 3, or is it just me? Am I just, like, not looking where I'm supposed to look? No, I haven't bothered to do uh, collections, but I, I need to do that. I just haven't bothered to do it, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> you have so much CC for The Sims 3. I have the least amount of CC for The Sims 3 than I do for any of the games. Guys, I can't find freaking anything in here. Um, I just, it, everything looks the same to me. I don't know what I'm looking for. How about this? That's a little large for a bathroom painting. I don't think I like any of these for a bathroom painting. See, I just never am able to find what I'm looking for. So if I'm like building by myself, let's say I was doing this on my own, I would probably go and try to find like some modern paintings or something and then come back. Um, Cause I'm just not seeing anything that I like in here or that I think would go. You just deleted almost 20 gigs of Sims 4 CC. <laughs> Wow. I need more for Sims 3, though. Okay, so I don't like any of these, so I'm just going to wait on this, I think, and come back. Because I don't want to just bore you guys to death. What was that? These are too big, though. Those are so big. I just need a small little bathroom painting. Why is that so hard to find? Why is that too much? See, that's nice, but it's too big. It's too big, so I don't know. We'll come back to that. At least we got the bathroom put in. And then I think I'll do the same tile floor for the rest of the kitchen too. I like to do a black and white and then we can do a white wall. Or maybe I'll do something like a, I don't know what kind of wall. I don't know what color wall. Maybe like a colored wall would look nicer instead of just all white. Let's see. Maybe we could do like a dark blue. Uh, uh, red? No. Nope, I'm sticking with white. <laughs> I can't make up my mind. I'm gonna do white. I'm like really un. I, I'm like really can't make up my mind today. Oh my god. I hate having anything white in my house, to be honest. I hate. Like I told you guys, we have white cabinets in our kitchen and it is a nightmare. Okay, so I'm gonna let them keep this, but I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna change it to black. Change it to black. Get a nice black fridge. Maybe that's a little too black. Let's do one shade, one shade lighter of black. University, oh yeah, it's, it's bad. It's bad. I agree. I'm gonna put this over here. Okay, I don't like that black either, now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> it looks so blotchy, look at that. People talk about the Sims 4 skins being blotchy. Look at that blotchiness, okay? Just look at that. And I'm running this game on ultra settings. Can you guys see that? Like that's how, that's how a lot of the textures and stuff look in The Sims 3 to me. You always do black and white houses. Yeah, I guess, you know what? Why am I cheaping out? We can buy a more expensive fridge. You're absolutely right. Why am I cheaping out on that? Let's go to appliances and let's get something better. Here we go. Let's get, get the two door galore. Let's do stainless steel. How about that? Let's do some stainless steel appliances. Um, So where's a nice stainless steel stove? 
Give me a stove. Give me a stove. That's not a stove. That's a stove. What's this? Faux stove? No, I don't want that. I want this one. Oh, man. That is fancy pants. How much did that cost? 1400 Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Yeah, you can't look too closely at the textures. <laughs> you can't. It is, it's, the metal is bad. Yeah, you're right. The metal is bad. It's not like that on everything, but the, the metal can be really bad. So I'm going to use this same metal on the stove so it kind of matches a little bit. And we'll leave that like that. Okay, what is, why is that so black? That is extremely black. Let's see if we can use the same on that. There we go. That's nicer. That's nicer. Okay, and then let's change the cabinets too. So what do we have? What can we do for the cabinet? So for the top, maybe we could do a black on the top and then do white on the bottom. I was just saying how I hate white counters and I'm going to give them white counters. I think I'll look and see what other counters we have available. Let's see. Where, where's the, what am I, what am I doing? What am I doing? Where's the counters? <laughs> cabinets, not cabinets, counters. You love white counters in the game? I use them a lot in the game. I do. I think I'm going to use this cozy counter. Oh no, I don't like that. Never mind. What do we have now? We have the counterculture. Modern cowboy. Ooh. That looks kind of nice. The only thing I don't like about that is it's just drawers. Like, I don't want just drawers, you know? I want some cabinets and some drawers. So what's this one? Modernosity. Oh, that's what we need. We need modernosity. Yep. See how the black is on that, though? Look at that blotch. Oh, well, we're just going to pretend we don't see that. We're going to use this counter. So let's get rid of that. Put that there. Get rid of that. Put that there. Move this out of the way. Grab another one of these. I mean, it's it's blotchy and splotchy. I don't know what to say. Okay, and now it's not... Oh, because I had it the wrong way. Okay, there we go. Make it spice brown. <laughs> Mooching pays off. Mooching pays off. Now they have a nice modern kitchen. And actually, I like to give them more counters than they actually started out with. Because I don't feel like there's enough in here. And then I'm going to get rid of this bar, too. But I have to let Nita finish cooking her food first. Um, oh, gosh. Can I move this up on the wall? Can we move this up? No. No. Does it go up? Nope. It just stays right there, huh? Just right there. Okay. They need a sink. Oh, yes, they do. Thank you. They need a sink. Let's give them... Let's give them this. Ooh, this is a nice sink. Look at this one. Let's give them this one. Give them a nice stainless steel. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty. Look at that shine. Ooh, that is nice. Yes. That is the sink. <laughs> now, I want to put some cabinets around, too. So let me see. Where are the cabinets? Um, let's see here. Do we have yes, these are the ones that match. So we're gonna use these. Ooh, and I like how they have the plates in them too. Wait, come here. Come here. What do you mean can't do that? What do you mean I can't do that? Don't tell me what I can do. Is it because of the window? What why can't I put cabinets? Y'all, it's telling me I can't do it. I don't understand. Why can't I do it? What? What? Does anybody know why I can't do that? Game hates me. See, I can put it over here, but I can't put it above these? Okay, I can't put... So you can't put upper cabinets above the counters? What the heck? Do I have move objects on? Stop that. Okay, it still won't let me do it. I think you do have to put the cap. Let's try that. Oh, that's annoying. 
That is really annoying. I, it must be this specific cabinet because I don't remember that ever. Oh, I wonder if it's because I was using double-sided or something. Was I using doubles? No, I don't think I was. Okay, I don't know what to say. That's really annoying. Um, but just so you know, if you try to do that and you have that problem, put the cabinet first. Okay, no. Ugh. Ugh. It won't go around now. Okay, there we go. All right, I got it. I got it. <laughs> This looks kind of stupid. Um, but what are you going to do? I guess I could take out a window. <laughs> I guess I could take out a window. Let's take out the window and put another one. It lets you put it above the stove, though. Oh, you know what? Is that double-sided? No, I don't think so. Never mind. I thought maybe I was using the double-sided one. Okay, and then do we have a stove hood? We need a stove hood now. Let's see. Alarms, cabinets, no. I think I had to download a freaking stove hood. Because I don't think I had one. Is there a stove hood? I don't know if there is one. And I can't freaking search either. I guess would it be under... <sighs> under here somewhere? I don't know. There isn't one in the game? Okay, it's possible I downloaded one. So let's check and see. Um, I'm going to filter by custom content. And let's see. I don't see anything. I don't think I have one. Okay, well, maybe we'll put some pots and pans up there. See, I haven't really been decorating that much. I need to go look for some stuff that I need. Oh, let's see. Is it in here somewhere? Nope. Nope. Oh, well, guys. So I'm going to be looking for a stove. I'm going to be looking for a stove hood. And what else did I say I wanted? Oh, and some paintings. I'll be looking for a stove hood and some paintings. So if you have anything to share in the Discord, <laughs> share it with me, please. And that wall wasn't painted either. And neither is that one. That looks better. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it there, and then um, we can finish this another time. So let me go back out to. Or I might fi I might actually finish the kitchen um, before our next stream, but I want to let Nina finish her sandwich there <laughs> before I do that. Check the wall lights. Okay, hold on. I'll check real quick before we stop. Oh my god, come on. Now it's going to take like three hours to save. Um, check the wall lights for one from pets. Okay. Well, I will as soon as the game stops saving. There we go. Let's check wall lights. I, s I feel like I've seen one. Okay, so it's in here? Or wait, am I on wall lights? Yeah. No, I'm on ceiling lights. Wall lights. Oh, no, that's a lamp. If you see it, do you see it? Wall lamp? I'm not seeing it. Oh, this? Oh, okay. That's kind of, kind of a, it's not really a vent, but it could work. It could do the job. Let's see if we can pull it down. Okay, no, that, that's gonna not gonna <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work it's like <laughs> I think we might have to remove this cabinet because look at that <laughs> oh that's pretty nice perfect perfect okay so I don't care for that one so I'm gonna look for an actual hood Thank you for telling me about that, though, because I might use it in another house. I'm not going to use it here because if I do, then we're just going to have this little stub cabinet, which looks really dumb. So I think I'm going to try and find an actual hood. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but I'll go search for that on my own. Okay. All right. Did I have one in alarms? Hold on. Let me go look now. Now you guys are... I feel like I had a custom one, but sometimes I'm like, I don't remember if that was The Sims 4. What is this? Oh, that's a donation box. 
Do you see one? I don't think I do. I think that was a different game that I had that in. Okay, all right, I'm giving up. I'm giving up for the night, guys. I'm giving up. <laughs> yeah, it looks good so far. It still needs a lot of work, but we can finish it another time. I like how it's, I like the direction we're going in though. <laughs> Yeah, I think I have one in Sims 2. That's probably what I'm thinking of. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for joining me. We had a lot of fun tonight. We got uh, one baby born and one baby on the way. So next week's video, next week's Sims 3 stream, we're going to have Dina and Mortimer's baby. And hopefully Dina's going to want to marry Mortimer and move in with him. And we can give the condo to Nina or something like that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> So everybody have a great night. I have a new video for you guys coming out tomorrow. And also, um, if you're a new subscriber or an old subscriber who hasn't done this, make sure to connect your Twitch account with the Discord so you can get our sub-only channels. And also, that's where I post links to bonus content. So make sure you uh, do that. And I will see you guys all very soon. Thanks again for joining me. Good night.